Howdy, folks. Hope everybody's doing well today. We finally get back to Super Lesbian Animal RPG. I am hyped. Uh, when last we left our uh, little band O'Gays, uh, we were learning a little bit more, but not really, about the uh, outside forces invading our world and trying to, uh, I guess, disassemble it on the molecular level? Something? I don't know. But uh, we fell into the enemy trap. We got out alive. Uh, we're going to head back to town and warn everybody. I highly doubt that it's going to go well. <laughs> and, uh, I have a feeling there's not going to be much town to go back to, but we'll find out. We also found out that they have like three bases of operation. We took, we've taken two out now, but it sounds like the first one is going to be back online. I don't know. We'll see. Things were a lot trippier than I expected this game to be. I like it though. I like trippy. Usually. Most of the time. Smash this machine, then everything should go back to normal. Really? Wow, nice work. You know, I had my doubts about you at first, but thanks for everything you've done to help out Moonford. Seriously. Always let me know if I'm having any weird tech stuff. I think I've got the sound set piece to me now. We'd love to stay in chat enough, but now we've got an emergency to take care of back home. Oh crap, sorry. Ready to return this place to normal then? Don't see why not. <laughs> Come on, let's book it to the teleporter we used to get here and get back to Green Ridge. We got a one, everybody. I'm really happy with the music in this game. And the art. And the writing. And everything else, really. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Hi, Star. Welcome in. Good to see you again. Teleporter. Yes, Jody, but first we have to remember where the teleporter is. Yes, Jody, but first we have to. Yeah! Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a bit lazy about purchasing soundtrack, but that is a habit I want to get back in. And, uh, this might be the game that starts me off. Anyway, nice! Good spirit, that sounds like something I need to build quickly. Mostly we are very low in MP, huh? I don't remember what everybody does. That'll do it. <laughs> Alright, we take those. I feel like I should have gotten something fancier for fighting something called the Loot Scooter, but that's alright. It's the Loot Scoot Boogie. A Thunder Gold, right? I don't think I really need that much gold for anything right now, but hey, never hurts. Uh, oh. The real enemy here is my long-term memory. But yeah, I am quite excited to get back to this game. It was, it isn't. Early contender to be one of my favorites. Just, it vibes with me on many different levels. Let's we'll see where it goes though. I really thought I could beat this in one turn. I should have just used some MP on it. Apparently trying to go up. Yeah, uh, if you remember... What? No, no, no! The teleporter's been smashed! How are we supposed to get home now? Okay, this is bad, but let's not panic now. Allison, what about your mom's car? Did she give us a rag? It's a two-seater, that's not gonna work. We should go talk to Ipsy back in Mumford. Maybe she'll know how to fix the warp pads, like how, how she helped me fix Cliff. 
Yeah. Uh, yeah, so uh, end of last stream, I got stuck on a jump in Robbie Ruby. I spent like 15 minutes trying to make the jump work. And uh, it was about when I wanted to end stream anyway, so just kind of half rage quit, half regular quit. And then I immediately looked it up online, and there was an air dash upgrade that you need for that jump. I apparently got like the whole way through the game up to that point, missing the air dash. I'm, uh, I'm a little bummed about that, but <laughs> I guess that's better than... You know, just not being able to do it. Uh, these guys don't like... Frost, I think? Oh, you don't have... You don't have bar. Something like that. Exactly! At least they're not the flying inky second ones. That's nice. Uh... I don't know, something like that. That'll do it. Wouldn't uh wouldn't super mind a chance to go back to Mumford and heal anyway. Nice! Oh yeah, I think I saw that too! Nice, nice! That was the other way around. I found this game because I followed her. <laughs> yes! Uh, her Sona... She actually made a uh, cameo in the, uh, the more modern uh, Sonic comics. They, like, stuck her in the background of one of the things. She was like, oh, technically I am the first canonically trans character in the Sonic universe. You'll have to see it. <laughs> but yeah, she's she's cool. I like her. Is this where I'm going? Yes. Hey! I'm going to pretend that was my impeccable sense of direction and not blind luck. And, uh... Yeah, that's the canon explanation. I think I got everything I wanted from these shops. I think I have one of these, but another one wouldn't hurt. Never did uh, work with Machinist or whatever it was that messed with all those use the gears, but whatever. That's fair. In. In is what I want. The moment. I still really like the cactus lady. I am excited to meet my cousin. No, I wanna. Oh, you just go up. Save real quick, why not? Alright, who are we talking to? I think we're going in here. Ipsy, we need your help! What's up? Our town is in danger, but the teleporter we used to get here has been smashed. Think you can fix it? Well, yes, but it'll take a while and it sounds like you don't have the time to spare. Hmm. Oh, you know, there's a second teleporter that leads to a different spot on the Sapphire Islands. It hasn't been turned on in years. But it should still work if we can get into the control chamber and reroute the power. Oh, I don't like the control chamber, Ipsy. It's scary in there. Doesn't matter how scary it is, if that's our way home, we're game. In that case, we'll meet you by the entrance. The big door directly toward north of Mumford. Can't miss it, how much you want to bet. <laughs> I'm real good at missing things. Like doors. Oh boy, <laughs> that is... There's a sign, I'm not sure if it's a good sign, probably a bad sign. <laughs> you should calm down, sir. 
Yeah. I still love her hat. Alright, uh, I don't think there's anything exciting here. Wait. It's good, uh, desert town music. Big door directly north. Oh, I almost did miss it. They said go north, and I went a little too, uh, directly north. <laughs> All right, what do we got? This seems like it'll uh, be nice and easy and simple, right? Hey, so good news. Looks like this teleporter is still in good condition. It just needs power. Whoever built this place clearly didn't want it to be easy to reroute the power, though. There are four switches in different rooms. All of them need to be flipped at more or less the same time. Oh. Oh. Mm, that is ominous. Okay. You'll have to split up. Yep. Oh god, what is that smell? Does anyone else smell that? It smells like mana? Is there some sort of gaseous mana leak in here? Oh yeah, seems like it. This doesn't m bother me as much since I'm dead run pretty much entirely on mana. You should probably be careful about that. This place isn't particularly big, but it might get worse further in. Claire, how dangerous is it to breathe in all that mana? I mean, it won't kill you, but it might make you feel sick. You should try not to stay in here for too long. I don't like this. Here, you can borrow these walkie-talkies. Phones still aren't working, but short-range radios seem to be okay. Use these to stay in touch. <sighs> I am... I am preemptively stressed about this segment. Alright, shouldn't take too long. Just head on in whenever you're ready. Ready as we're getting, folks. Time to split up. Everyone have a walkie-talkie? Yep, let's find those switches. Gonna be okay doing this on your own, Mo? You've been on edge ever since our encounter with Jabus. We dealt with worse. This is nothing compared to everything else we've been through these last three days. That's the spirit. But still, if you run into trouble, just radio me, okay? Of course. Come on, let's head in. I'll see you soon. Just gotta check. Just in case. Alright. Alright, so we're all on our own, and there's some sort of, uh, magical gas leak. Sure, this will go well. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, it seems, uh, seems like we're gonna have a good time. Isn't that just a, uh, which I mean, kind of durable. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh. It just ran away? Hey, I got jumped by some feral robots over here. What about you three? Over. Yeah, I've run into a couple. Need any backup? Over. I'm okay, but I'll keep you posted. Over and out. Yeah, uh, yeah. Seems to be going in a direction. Do I do the same thing? Yep. Alright. So we're doing one hit and running. So they're not big threats, but that'll add up after a while. But I have some healing. Hmm. Are they chasing me? Oh, it looks like it was wandering around and then it kind of rushed me. Maybe they can see. At any rate, I'm gonna try to stay away. I'm not gonna succeed, but I'm gonna try. What if there's something else I can be doing here? Let's 
Sun seems like it should do something here, but probably not. I love how many, like, distinct flavors of... Ooh, that looks fun down there. I love how many distinct flavors of weird spooky crap this game has managed to invoke in, like, a few hours. Well, we go not the direction with all the monsters. Uh, is this going to be some Lost Woods kind of thing? Oh boy. Alright, let's try... If there's sand at the in the passageway. Let's go that way. I don't think that's it. This is the same room design. Alright, there's sand here. Allison? Claire? Jody? Anyone there? I'm stuck in some sort of repeating room. Are you dealing with the same thing? Over. Come on, please respond. Please? Did their batteries die or something? <sighs> God, I can barely breathe with this mana gas everywhere. I need to retrace my steps and get some fresh air. Bold of you to assume I remember what I did five seconds ago. Oh, good. That's good. Why do I feel like I'm being followed? Is someone there? Not very quick on the uptake there, huh? Gah! Okay, very funny, I get it now. This is yet another stupid trap from Javis. Good guess, but nope. Hmm. I'm you, Melody. I've been with you for a while. I used to just be a blob of magical energy floating around in the ether. No will of my own, no sentience. But then, that blob of energy bumped into you, and became a manifestation of your thoughts, conscious or otherwise. Wait, I think I remember you. You were there when I got my magic, watching me. That's right. Speaking of that night, can we discuss the specialization you went with? It's been bugging me. Oh, I, I bet this is different for other paths. Also, frame rate, please? Stream? Hello? Thanks. I mean, come on! Resolute Paladin? You? That's a good one. You've been watching everything I do this whole time? Oh, relax, dummy. I'm only the voice in the back of your head that tries to give you advice. I just get to be more upfront about it now. Sorry, but this whole mirror image thing is throwing me for a loop. Can you do something else? Ah, fine, if it'll get you to listen to me for once. Never like this half-assed paladin outfit anyway. Oh, it's our emo phase. Alright, or our goth phase. <laughs> Better? And if you need a name for me, you can call me your... Persona? Harmony? Shadow? Harmony! Hey! Second guess. I wasn't planning on speaking up just yet, but you're just so boring, Melody. I couldn't stand to watch you wander around hopelessly in the dark like that. Seriously though, why are you so boring? You have no unique copies, no quirks, no personality of your own whatsoever. One time, when asked to list your dislikes for an online dating profile, you literally couldn't think of anything good, so you just put bad stuff. I remember that. I remember... I remember relating with that. Yeah. Hey, we're gonna get personal. All right. Fair. Now you're trying to make up for being an empty shell of a person by dating someone more interesting. You know you'd be nothing without Allison. That's why you've completely reinvented yourself to please her. Hey, back off! It's not like that. Yeah, I might not have my whole life figured out, but I'm working on that. I've only been. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah, she's a fun, uh, evil twin kind of thing. I've only been a real paladin for a few days. 
And you'll be lucky if it lasts another day at this rate. We've been trying to act all tough, sure, being all gung-ho about this mission. But it's just that, an act. Everyone can see right through it. Come on, who do you think you are, Jody? Sorry, but you'll never be as good as her. You couldn't even get your new powers the right way. You had to cheat. How's all that going, hmm? As to me, it seems like your decision to roleplay as a hero has just put everyone in danger. I guess that's what you get for trusting Claire. Even after the hell she's put you through, you keep giving her second chances. Couldn't believe you just stood up for her like that back in the Neon Labyrinth. Look, are you just here to harass me? Because I don't need this right now. I'm stuck in a maze, the middle of nowhere, miles from home, while everyone I care about is in danger. Again, all your fault. Just want to drive that point home. Claire summoned those monsters to train your sorry ass, and Javis came along with them. Fine, let's just blame me for everything. What are you going to do next? Make fun of my weight or something? Let's just play all the hits. Nah, you're pretty comfortable with your body. Diversity win. Besides, I'm not here to bully you, Melody. I just want to help you. Oh, this isn't help. You just want me to hate myself. You already do, Melody. That's why I exist. Well, shut the hell up. I'm just trying to keep you from making even more stupid mistakes, Melody. But if I really wanted to get under your skin, I could bring up what Allison thinks of you. Don't go there. Oh, did I strike a nerve? You already know what I'm going to say, don't you? I don't want to hear it. Allison pities you. No, she doesn't. You've been trying to fight it. To turn yourself into someone you're not to keep her attention. I was just reminding her how pathetic you are. She coddles you constantly. She thinks you're this cute little pathetic thing who can't handle this life. She's right, of course. Because deep down, Melody... You'll always just be that pathetic little kid Allison had to save from bullies. And it's only a matter of time before she's tired of you. Shut up, shut up, shut up! What did I do to deserve this? Is this what I get for trying to be happy? Yep. Just get out of my head. Get out. You're right, okay? I'm an idiot. It's my fault we're in this mess. Everyone I care about is in danger because of the stupid stunt I pulled to feel good about myself. God, I'm going to die in here. I'm going to suffocate or get killed by robots in this stupid maze and they're never going to find me. Ah, somebody help me. Get me out of here. Please, I don't want to die in here. Melody. Melody, oh my god, are you okay? Allison? No, we heard you shouting at someone over the walkie-talkies and came as fast as we could. What happened? I, I don't know. Well, come on. Think you're having a panic attack. Deep breaths through your nose like you've practiced. I don't know if that's a good idea in here. What do you mean? I think Melody's suffering from some obscure type of mana poisoning. If her body still isn't used to the amount of mana I gave her, then all this ancient mana she's been breathing in might be messing with her head. That was a rough sequence. Well, that was rough. Jeez. Crap, you're right. Mel, can you walk? I... yes. Yeah, I can. Okay, good. Don't push yourself too hard. What about the warp pad? We need to get back to Greenridge. Everyone's in danger. Mel, it's fine. Ipsy can trade places with you. We need to get you to safety. Come on, let's get her out of here. Watch her back on the way out, Melody. Short while later. Okay, we got the teleporter running with Ipsy's help. How are you holding up, Mel? Definitely better now that I've got some fresh air. Glyph was keeping me company outside. Turns out, nine foot tall industrial robots don't get the most comfortable hugs, but it's the thought that counts. Is it weird that I feel better after crying? Not at all. Yeah, I think that's pretty normal. Do you want to talk about what happened in there, though? No, not really. Don't worry about it. Now come on, we've wasted enough time here. We need to get back to Greenridge before it's too late. Exactly. Like, it's one of those scenes like... It doesn't hit a ton of my specific buttons, but it does hit some of them. And it's like... 
this isn't the kind of game where that's going to go completely unchallenged, you know? Like, this is the kind of game I think that is going to end on a high note. Like, we're going to overcome some of those thoughts and stuff like that. But, like, if I, if I didn't know this was likely to be that kind of game and have that kind of ending, like, I, I would have had a hard time making it through that. Wasn't easy the way it was, but, you know. It's, uh, it's a game with a lot of hope, I think. Now, come on. Oh, uh, gotta get back to Greenridge. Are you sure you're up for that, Mel? Don't worry about me. I'm fine. Honest. I mean, we just got done with the labyrinth, and now this? We won't be at the top of our game if we're burnt out. Maybe we should let Claire and Jody go on ahead with Neff or something, and we can catch up after. Said I'm fine, Allison. Okay, okay, sorry. I'll go get the others then. I don't think we're actually that fine. Well, the warpad's active. No idea where it'll take you, but it should be somewhere on the surface. Hopefully not too far from Greenridge. Thank you so much for your help, Ipsy. I don't know what we would have done without you. No biggie. Not like I had anything better to do. Won't keep you all any longer. I have a feeling we'll be seeing each other again soon anyway. Okay, let's get to show on the road. Fair. Goes nothing. Hold on, Faith. We'll be there soon. Act 3. The beach! I never thought I'd be so happy to see the beach! Do you spend a lot of time on the beach? Do you recognize this part of the coast? I think I do. This is fantastic news. We should be close to home. Okay, enough chit-chat. We're all time limited here, we gotta warn everyone. Feel like we're already too late, I suspect, but at least we get like a minute and a half on the beach before whatever other else. Set, nice, nice. Do I want to fight these guys? I don't think I do. Inner tubes. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> All right. Oh, you clips. Thanks. Uh, I probably want all four of those, right? Pretty stocked up on the rest of it. This menu is a little clunky, but. I'm gonna put that more on uh, RPG Maker than I am on the design itself. Wait, hold. Uh, actually, that's better, I think. See that? Uh, let's sell some stuff too while we're here. Didn't hurt. Interesting that uh, we can't sell these. I wonder if they come back up later. Zircon Saber definitely seemed like it was going to come back. So did that, actually. I'm going to hang on to those for a moment. That has an elemental resistance. I liked the grind core tea. That was good. Alright. Ran out of attention spam. Let's move on. <laughs> Monster Den. White House. Oh. 
Astral Plane. Like you do. I do still really like the vibes of the Astral Plane. All the colors. Okay, can't warp to Green Ridge. We can go to Mumford. Alright, nice. Uh, do we really want to, though? Not really. How about this way? I think this is actually the way we're supposed to be going. Always try to check the optional direction first, but uh, sometimes you guess wrong. Good. Alright, uh. What's my standard battle plan? It's been a sec. What's this guy do? 30. It's expensive, but hits everybody. Let's try it. I don't think we've tried it before. Don't remember what the helper jellies resist, but uh, I'll do that. We should have gone for the helper because it has healing. That's pretty good. It's expensive as heck, but Elston doesn't really spend her and do that often. Right, I have mana trade. Uh, but I also have this, but that's not... It's not going to do much to water enemies. Probably not, but we're going to try it. Yeah, okay. I don't know why I tried that. <laughs> I wonder if damp amplifies uh, electric damage. I don't think it's worth the MP to find out here, but... There we go. Just smack it. There we go. Right. Hey. A bunch of gold, not bad. Not like right home about, but right, anything else fun, I think. That's it, except for that one screen way back there. Yeah, let's go on. Almost there! Green Ridge is directly north. This, I think, is where they were having the snail picnic earlier. Alright. Let's uh, go home for a sec first. How about that? Yeah, we don't know- we still don't know what that door is. Well, it'll come up at some point, right? The enemies have not upgraded. Big 8 gold! Yeah, buddy! This is probably nothing, but I feel compelled to try anyway. Like anything's going on. Alright, fair enough. Worth a shot.
But yeah, I don't know if we're beating this today. Probably not, would be my guess. I'm not going to do the super long stream. But, yeah, we'll see. No. No, no, no. Oh my god, we're too late. No, there has to be something we can do. This must be an illusion or something. Claire? Oh, oh no. Beverly, where's Beverly? Is she okay? Is she... Crap. Hey! Hey! Boy, are we glad to see you. Right back at you, buddy. You guys hurt? Here, let me pet you up. Is this the kind of thing you guys have been dealing with? Whole neighborhood's a madhouse right now. Where's Beverly? Have you seen her? Is she somewhere safe? We spent the last hour evacuating as many civilians as we can, but we haven't seen Beverly. She's probably still in there. What about Faith? Why isn't she with you? Faith's trying to hold down the tower. Whatever these guys want, that seems to be their main target. Hey, now's not the time to panic. Faith can handle herself, and I'm sure Beverly's fine too. Come on, we're the Paladin Brigade. Sworn protectors of everyone in Greenridge. We're not gonna let some bozos like this hurt anyone, and neither are you. I want... I really like Holly. I want to see more of Holly. I liked her already, and then she had that side quest about pro wrestling. <laughs> Setting up an evacuation camp on the coast. We could really use your help getting folks to safety. Hold on. If we can find Jadis' scrambler and destroy it, everything should go back to normal. We need to cut to the chase and do that. No, there's no telling how long it could take to find. People stuck in there don't have time to spare. Here, take these warp stones. Use these to warp any civilians you find to safety at the evac camp. You guys got this, okay? We'll be in touch. If you want to be adventurers, now's your chance to prove yourselves. Come on, we got work to do. Paladin Brigade, move out! More fun music. Glitchridge, nice. Alright, what all we got here? Wait, how do we get up there? Chest for some reason. Eight potions, that's a lot. Uh, seems like a place we should go, but I don't know how. Hmm. Ooh, that's fun. Well, it's fairly normal to me. I guess that's what we're looking for. Oh! Hello! Wonder if... What if this hits in a particular spot, you know? Like, is it a... Does it hit them from the top, or does it just hit them hard? Got a feeling I'm gonna want the taunt up. That sword's probably a physical attacker, right? Is this... Alright, uh... 
uh, Frost. There we go. And uh, the taunt isn't really taunting that much, huh? Should do it. You're good. <laughs> All right. What else we got going on? Ah, hello! Welcome to my new art studio. I'm working on a statue of our leader. Wow, this Queen Verena is a lot more rectangular than I thought she would be. Just start, asshole. <laughs> <sighs> I enjoy the helper jellies. They're funny. Just chillin'. Reminds me of... I think the last time I heard this, it reminded me of Earthbound, but now it kind of reminds me of uh, the game Off. That's a fun game. I've only watched a Let's Play of it, but it's a lot of fun. Well, let's do something with your meter, I guess. Should just be able to clear. Ooh, corruption need. Hey. Oh, good. Corruption does not linger, I think. No, we're fine. <laughs> we found money anyway. Nice. House is bigger on the young side, huh? Oh. Dark horse. Hmm. Also looks like it's only the front of a horse. That's along with most of the nag, I guess. Ah, uh, let's go hard here. Oh, they drain. It's my favorite. Hmm. All right. It's gonna take all day if I don't uh roll out the big guns. I think. Oh, she's not burned. Hmm. 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 There we go. Something like that. Two down, and oh, one last shot with the mana drain. There we go. I wonder how the Leons are doing. We're about to find out, maybe. Who do these punks think they are? This town is my territory. Mom, can I have permission to do one of my special attacks without getting grounded? Oh, for sure. Let her rip, pep. <laughs> I think they got it under control in there. <laughs> Good. I still really enjoy Pepper. Are you just chilling here? Ah, how I love some good old-fashioned havoc. Oh, hello. 
Are you here to look at our new beachfront property options? You, you're one of Javis's boys. What do you think you're doing to our town? Ah yes, I remember you now. Apologies. I'm just keeping an eye on the troops. Father has ordered me not to fight you for the time being. I need to reserve my strength for high level foes, and sorry, that doesn't describe you. Enjoy all the monster attacks and death drops, though. <laughs> That's not something you ever see every day. The boss is just like, eh, I can't be bothered fighting you right now. I'm trying to avoid conflict here, but sometimes easier than others. Uh... Uh, you still got some leader, but you also still have some MP. There you go. One of these days, I'm going to remember what these guys' weaknesses are. But for now, we're just going to go in. A bummer. That's also a bummer. Well, it's not a bummer. Ow. Alright. This weakness, that's good. First aid should be enough, I think. Multi Scorch should do well. Something like that. I like these dark horses though. They're fun looking. By fun, I mean evil, but you know. So I don't think he was weak to that. to four-digit HP. Already did, but, you know. We're in decent shape. And yeah, we managed to sneak by. Nice. <laughs> Man, frickin'. Ah, here we are. Ooh. This is, uh, huh. Well, this one's seen better days. I don't know if we should even touch this thing. I mean, hey, this one might be weird, but that's half the fun of magic. I'm not gonna look a gift spell book in the mouth. That's a mouth? <laughs> Alright, we gotta. We gotta, right? I think we gotta. Yeah, we gotta. But who gotta? Use Chronomancer that much. We're doing it. We're making it happen. Uh, which way did I come from? I think I came from the left. 666 six, six, gold. Nice. Haha, uh -huh, funny number. All right. Two of these guys. Uh, they were not a big deal, I think. Wish I had more easily available uh, multi hit spread attacks. This guy's, I think, are weak to scorch? Probably. <laughs> Ooh, nice! Alright! This seems reasonable. Let's see, let's try it out. Is it a bad idea? Quite possibly, but. It also seems like a fun idea. Hey! Also, a. Hey. Oh, sure. 
What's we got? Still not. Don't remember entirely what corruption does. Probably not good, but might be about to find out. Oh, it's a uh, disable. I remember now. That tether arrows is quite a quite a chunk for a multi for a party spell. Man, that could have gone better. Should be able to clear, theoretically. Something like that. Ow. Double ow. There we go. Alright, one of those wasn't too bad. Two was kind of a lot. But we're okay. We have a whopping uh, 666 gold to show for it. Is that the most efficient way to heal up? I don't know. Hey, what else we got? It's got skulls in the windows, that's good. Monster Gen, okay. Huh. Getting more creative with those. At least my place is okay somehow. Make yourself some home if we want to recharge real quick. We sure do. You know. Town's under siege, but still time for a nap. This statue is intact. That's interesting. Uh, interested in whole. <laughs> sure, great. <laughs> Good. Trooper, that's a new one, I think. Uh, don't feel like messing around with those wing wheels again. I think I've decided, uh, once I finish, I think next week is going to be more of this unless I finish it and more of Robbie Ribby. And I think once I finish, uh, once I finish one of those, Toho will come back in. Then once I finish the other one, then I'm trying to think of play games at the same time. Once I finish the other one, I think it's going to be Vampire Survivors is on deck. Haven't played that in a minute. And I'm excited for the DLC. And it's something besides RPGs. Do a lot of RPGs around here, but I try to keep some variety. A little bit. Not much. <laughs> so that's what's on deck. Also been kind of pulling, putting out feelers and doing some uh, preliminary prelim pat planning for that uh, tabletop wrestling project I was talking about. Might have one taker if somebody wants to be involved, so that's kind of exciting. That's about 0 0.5 takers more than I thought. We beat the under. Have we been here? I think we've been here. It's kind of hard to get your bearings. <laughs> with all the warping and such. I think we came from up, so I think we go this way. Ha! Oh, the shop. Ha! Recursive loot scooter, that's good. I like that. 
Alright, uh... Sure. Hey, we got a corrupt. Sure. And 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 that. Something like that. Yeah. The, the, uh, the wrestle thing's gonna be one of those projects that it might just be fun for me, but, you know. That's kind of my, my approach to VTubing, is do stuff I want to do, and uh, throw stuff at the wall, and maybe some of it'll stick, maybe it won't, but worst case scenario, I have fun off in a corner by myself while the internet ignores me. <laughs> I feel like that's kind of how you gotta do it, though. Like, if you're not doing something you enjoy, why are you doing it? What are your kids still doing here? We're under attack! It's times like these, when people need adventuring gear the most. Yeah, we gotta arm everyone! We gotta help fight back! I admire your spirit, but have you looked outside lately? Your new location isn't exactly gonna get much traffic. I mean, we're here, aren't we? Yeah, leave this to the adults, guys. Hey! You two ever wanted to teleport? Boy, have I! Every single day of my life, yes. <laughs> it's a mood. Oh, then here's a once in a lifetime opportunity. Me. Alright, well, we got them. For a second, I thought we were going to get to shop for some upgrades, but no such luck. Alright, let's actually look at this uh, quest that keeps getting up there. Oh, we missed Mona at the library. We need Beverly. Okay. Oh, hello. Howdy! Y'all like poison? What? It's a simple question, miss. No, we don't like poison. Why would anybody like poison? Well, that's too bad, because I got me some. I made some poison versions of some of Dad's underlings. Probably run into them later. Should, should we say thank you? Is that what you're expecting here? We don't have time for this. Alright, uh, we went this way, but I don't think we went down. Right? Or did we go down and that's how we got here? Ah, uh, I'm losing track. Hey! So D20. <laughs> Ominous polygon. Non-specific polygon. That's fair. Uh, they didn't like Scorch, I think? Maybe? Sure. I don't know. I realize I'm kind of spoiled by like Persona and stuff that uh, lets you track what enemies are weak to. It's one of those things you don't miss until it's gone. didn't do much, so we'll switch to, uh, Frost. <sighs> it's such an odd time of year this is, you know? Just kind of... We're just kind of here. Time is... Not the most real it could be. It's kind of fun though, it's usually a pretty uh, easy point of the year for me. Which is why you're getting so many streams the last couple weeks. That will... Uh, that will go back to normal starting next week. Sadly. I don't know if I do this as a full-time job, but I'd do more of it if I could. I think a lot of levels lately, I feel like. Maybe we haven't been here. Oh. <laughs> He's just chilling. 
You really put it this time, huh, Claire? Oh, screw you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's be nice to the people we're saving, okay? This is a high-stress situation for all of us. What makes you think this is all my fault, huh? Gee, maybe the fact that every other catastrophe since you moved here has been your fault? Oh, well. At least I got a chance to see some monsters up close. Yeah, well, show's over. Shoop. Was the chair supposed to warp with her? Yeah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Still can't go behind the desk, though. Bummer. Uh, we were here, but here took us to some weird places, didn't it? So all we need is Beverly, I think. Heck if I, can, heck if I know where Beverly is. Or how to get there. No. Yes. I don't feel like I don't feel like messing with him. There we go. With electricity, that's good to know. And frost. I'll forget that in a few seconds, but good to know for now. That also means we can jolt. Nice. Also nice. Overkill Volti Frost, everybody's already dead, but that's okay. <laughs> that's just how it is sometimes. I don't think I... yes I did. I did explore this. Alright, so normally the restaurant would be over here. Clearly, it is not. What's this? Good? No. Uh, library doesn't go over here anyway. So I think there was... Stuff off to the side that I had to check out. Yeah, we haven't actually gone this way much. A lot of save points here. This looks, uh. This is bad. Theoretically, the tower should be this way. Well, we still got people to rescue, so let's worry about getting to the tower once everyone's safe. That's over here. Okay, hey, crack and roll. That's not too bad. Might not be the most fun thing we've ever done, but not too bad. Uh, Scorch, I think, works on these. find a go back and peel up a little bit more but I had a hard enough time keeping track of where everything in Green Ridge was before it got glitched out <laughs> hey what let's actually use that uh mana drain should work might not be the finish, though. Yeah, I got a few things I want to put up on the YouTube, I think. Um, I want to do more music stuff. Uh, so that's probably what I'll, where I'll put the finished products there. Then it can be uh, immediately copyright claimed by somebody, so that'll be fun. Uh, I want to do that, I want to do the, the wrestling thing. Uh, you'd like Scorch, so let's give you Frost. Um, 
couple of pre-edited things. I might start putting, like, clip compilations up there once I have a few more. I don't like... I've got some good clips, but I don't know. I'm not very... I feel like I'm not a very, like, clippable kind of VTuber. Like, I don't have a whole lot of... I'm like, funny, heh, not funny haha, you know? So I don't know how well my particular style would fit into a clip compilation, but it's still something I want to do. Just kind of get like a channel trailer kind of thing. Ooh, it's extra screwy. Claire? Beverly! My god, Claire, what's going on? I was so scared. I tried to get out, but there was a monster blocking the door. Just glad you're okay. I was so worried. Look at this. Claire, what are we going to do? Look at what they did to my family's restaurant. I don't know what I'll do without my this place. Pickledies is my whole life. No, Beverly. It's okay. Everything is going to go back to normal soon. We're going to fix this. I'm going to fix this. You, you mean that? Is that a promise? It's a promise, Beverly. It's a bit dangerous making promises when uh, <laughs> a lot of things that could go wrong out of your control, but... This one I won't break. God, I'm I'm so sorry about all this. I never ever wanted you to be put in harm's way. Beverly, I don't know how to say this, but I care about you. Are we doing this right now? Can we maybe like fix the town? A lot. Huh? Well I care about you too, Claire. No, I mean <laughs> we're doing the lesbian thing. Okay. No, never mind. We got a lot to talk about later. Okay, yes. <laughs> you need to get to safety first. Thank you, Claire. And all of you. I hope I see you again soon. As much as I like the trope of, like, the, the relationship starting, like, right before the climax, like, realistically, I think it makes a little bit more sense for it to be after we've dealt with stuff. Hey, now let's see if we can get to the tower. Are you gonna heal anywhere in there? No. Okay. I think that's right here, isn't it? Yeah. We sure should. Took a bunch out of us for just a couple random mini bosses. Not even really mini bosses. Hey, right, let's see what shenanigans we got here. Paula's cool now. Late as usual, Galetta. I'm kind of extra digging this, uh, this theme. Like the new threads? Janus made him for me. Paula, why the hell are you siding with these jerks? Green Ridge is your home. Aren't these people your friends? Your friends, maybe. I never really cared about anyone around here. Is that why you decided to turn on us? Who was a factor? But I have my reasons. You wouldn't understand. You're right, I wouldn't. Zip doesn't make any sense. Paula, two days ago we were co-workers. I know we never really got along, but I thought we had kind of a back and forth. We had banter. Nah, I've always just hated you. I hate the banter, too. You were never as charming as you thought you were. Ooh. That, that's gonna hit her where it hurts. Paul, please, look around at what you're doing. It's not too late to reconsider all this. What's there to reconsider? I was offered a spot on the winning team because Javis recognized my natural talents. I'd have to be an idiot to turn him down. If you knew who you were really up against, you'd be second-guessing your loyalties too. And who exactly are we up against? What's the deal with this Queen Verena you and Javis are working for? I finessed not to say too much. Don't worry, you'll have a chance to meet our boss real soon. Javis is summoning her below the tower as we speak. Not if we have anything to say about it. You don't. Anyway, if you manage to get into the tower, boys are really looking forward to seeing you spring all the traps and I don't want to ruin their fun. I'll leave you to it. Later, losers. Oh, we don't have a fight. Ha, ah, she really knows how to grind your gears. You're telling me. What are we going to do about getting into the tower? It's where Faith and Javis are, but the past blocked. Good question. 
Should we reconvene with Provence? Maybe think of a plan together? Wait, the basement dungeon. Oh, not this again. No, no, hear me out. Remember when you found that back area in the basement dungeon below the tower? If things haven't gotten too scrambled down there, that might be our way in. It's worth a shot. Right, let's move out. We need to get to Faith. I think I might have tried that earlier. I think I did try to go there. Seems logical if you want to counterattack. Oh, Allison is over here. Alright, let's see what, uh, what, uh, new terrors await us. Things intact. Here, let's make a beeline for the back area. It goes this way, yeah. Faith! Jody! <laughs> she booked it! Yay! Sweetheart, I'm so sorry. No, you must have been worried sick. No, there's no time for that now, dear. Just so glad that nothing happened to you. Lord knows I need some good news today. One appropriately long hug later. That's nice. See? I told you we'd bring back Jody in one piece. Don't assume that this means you're off the hook for your little secret lair down here, Missy. But there'll be plenty of time to lecture you later. Provided there's still a green ridge to go back to after we deal with your little friend here. Yes, that's the spirit. All we have to do is stop Javis and shut down his machine, and everything will go back to normal. What are you doing down here anyway? The ringleader of those interdimensional ruffians. Such a good phrase, interdimensional ruffians. Found a way into the tower's basement and then disabled the elevator so he wouldn't be followed. Normally, I'd be alerted as soon as he set foot in there, but it seems like the attack on the town was all just a diversion so I wouldn't notice the break-in. Yeah, Chavis definitely loves his diversions. Do you have any idea why he might be targeting the tower? Paul said that Javis is trying to summon their boss, someone named Queen Verena. Yeah, you ever heard of her? Can't say I have. Wait, did you say Paula? You mean Paula Cassidy? She's working for these people? She's a butch and her last name is Cassidy. Okay. Uh, she. we've got a lot of catching up to do later. Hold on, I think I might know what he's after. Have you ever noticed the way the tower seems to pulsate with magical energy? Uh, yeah. I think I noticed uh, that the big tower a block away from my house glows bright pink at night. But that's not just for a show. The central obelisk is a giant, ancient mana conduit. If the, this Verena is even half as powerful as they say she is, then Javis will need a lot of energy to summon her. Precisely. Hold on. If the tower is a big magic generator, how come we don't have villains going after it all the time? Seems like a pretty useful thing to have. Because it's not a particularly good one, as far as we know. Its power output is oddly low. But, Javis has technology that seems to defy our understanding of magic. If he has a way to turbocharge the tower for the summoning, we're in deep trouble. Look, I shouldn't be letting you in here. With the clock's ticking, we need to find Javis. Follow me. You think fun up here? Probably not, right? <laughs> Follow me! Doesn't. Searching for goodies. Alright, I don't think anything's gonna be back that way. Two years from now, I'm gonna be poking around about this game on YouTube and find out that I missed something super special awesome. Secret. How are we gonna get in? This looks like a dead end. Oh, ye of little. F oh god, I used my own name for a pun. I like. The oh, uh. I did not mean to pin that, I just clicked it. Yeah, I like the, uh, I like the corrupted town. I've liked all the corruption stuff, I've liked all the dungeons. Um, yeah, it's fun, it's different. Uh, it's nice and unsettling. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's a good time. Sort of. <laughs> For certain definitions of good time. That's a slippery slope. Anyway, observe. Yes, yes it is. Drink some really fun, really fun villains so far. Fun villain group. Wow, I came really close to discovering the secret passageway, huh? 
Perhaps, but you would have set off at about a dozen alarms, so be thankful that you didn't. Anyway, enough chit chat, let's go. I do enjoy some uh, glitchy, random, chaotic nonsense. It's a vibe I enjoy. It tends to be a mechanic I enjoy when it's implemented. Welcome to the Guardian's Vault. Home to everything the old Guardians wanted to keep from prying eyes. Wow, this place has been under Greenridge the whole time? Yes, and like, you, like I said, you shouldn't even be here. So please don't tell anyone about the vault. Yes, ma'am. Given the dire circumstances, I'm going to let you bend the rules and let you arm yourselves with some of the items in here. You need to be ready for a real fight. There are lots of dangerous relics stored here that you shouldn't touch, but anything in a regular old chest should be fine to take. See, I always knew you were cool, Faith. Don't get any ideas. But all this junk is worthless if we can't use it to save our town. Oh, and I apologize in advance for all the traps and sentries, but you should be able to handle those. Piece of cake. I've also set up this warp back to the evacuation camp in case you need to restock on supplies. Meanwhile, I'll go ahead and try to stall Javis. If he wants to tap into the tower's energy, he'll be on the lowest level. Okay, just be safe down there, Faith. Don't underestimate him like we did. Please! If this scoundrel thinks he can mess with my town, he's got another thing coming. Let's move out. I don't know what I thought that was going to do, but warp was not it. <laughs> Saving was it? Working on it. We're kind of faster. <laughs> I, I, I like Bartholomew and Pepper. Cherry's a good time, too. Uh, this is... all stuff we've seen before. Go get him, Claire. Powered up. I don't think I even need one, but... Always heal when you have a free... free heal chance. And back in. I guess I could have seen where we go. We go down, but too bad. Another save point. They're really uh, loading up the save points. Bird, hello! It's a good game! I really like it. It's been a lot of fun. Gold armor! Oh yeah, we can do a shadow. Do a shout out very slowly. There you go. Bird's fun. Alright, build armor. Uh new enemy. Yeah, it's really fun. It's it's very colorful. It's very gay. Uh the villain villains are like glitching up the whole place. So uh And it is uh Yeah. Any of that appeals. You will like this game, I think. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and taunt. This seems like I wanna taunt. Yes! The cow lady is fun. Uh, I like the main character because I kind of imprinted on her, but I really like the whole cast of this game, but especially the party. It's, it's, a, it's just, it's a good, it, it's good stuff. <laughs> Uh, ba -ba 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 I don't think Frost did much. Go ahead and barrier. Alright. So, weak to lightning, weak to fire. Okay, good. That's what I needed. Uh, they resisted the. There's nothing really much for Melody to do here. 
Wait, I messed up my thingies. How about you just attack? How about you just attack? Alright, uh... I think we're about... Maybe about halfway through, although the soft hole seems like it could be a final... The beginning of the end. Yeah, it's super cute! It's, uh... It gets... it gets pretty emotional, too. Uh... Bird, I think you commented on that clip I posted where I was like, dang near started crying. Uh, at one point. So it's... it's one of those, it lures you in with the cute and the funny, and then... Whoops, you have feelings about it. You can not just scorch again, that's good. It's one of those games, like, they put... Yeah, I like the art. Oh, hey! It's still here, though. Interesting. Huh. Yeah, I'm into the art. I'm into the music. I'm into the writing. I'm not, like, particularly in. I feel one way or the other about the actual gameplay. But, yeah. I actually kind of like the gameplay. It's got some interesting ideas that you don't see very often. I got nothing bad to say about it so far. Oh, it's oh, it's even oh, it's a little guy. It's just a little guy in the armor. Mm hmm. Wait, homebound? Earthbound? Okay. It's like earthbound, homestuck. I can see either. Yeah. It has Earthboundish vibes at the very least, like some of the music has really reminded me of that. Some of the trippiness. Is there not anything this way? More bosses, okay. Right, uh this again, I guess. Uh Oh, that is, that is a dangerous question, Bird. That's a very dangerous question. <laughs> this is an old web comic that uh, was very strange, and uh, it was very good and it was very bad at the same time. People have a lot of opinions about it. <laughs> I was, yes. Uh, I, I'm not much into it anymore, but I do have a lot of feelings, both positive and negative about it. <laughs> it really... I liked it up until I got to, like, the, uh, the, like, epilogue and the post thing and all that. It kind of lost me there. Like, it just felt really ham-fisted. I don't know. It's like, I liked it a lot of the time. I would never go back and read it again. I don't really have much interest in getting back into the fandom, but I enjoyed it at the time. Yeah, the great people, that's what they're from. <laughs> yeah. I kind of... I wonder... I'm, I just said I'm not going to go back to it, but I kind of wonder if I went back to it, how I'd feel about the epilogues a second time? So I remember one of my big gripes being uh, that they just kind of ham-fistedly mm, like they put a whole bunch of LGBT stuff into the epilogues that wasn't in the main story, at least not explicitly in the main story, and it kind of liked me at the time, but I was an egg at the time, so maybe it'll be less now, but I think I still had other problems with it. Uh, scorch for these guys, right? But they did, they did some other, like, actually weird things with the characters, though. I don't know. It was, it was a downer. <laughs> I think I tried both the Apologues and the Homestuck, too, and I dropped both of them pretty early on. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> kind of left a bad taste in my mouth, but... Uh, <sighs> Uh, do I need another Scorch? We'll do it anyway. 
Yeah, exactly, exactly. You know, here it's nice, you know, it's... We had, like, one conversation about it, and we have... And the rest of it's just treated it like... It's just a normal deal. It's like, these characters are in a relationship. They're both girls. What of it? Kind of thing. Um... I remember... I don't remember if it was the epilogues or Homestuck 2, because they run together in my head, but... I remember the other one was like, I'm going to ha sit down and like preach at you for 10 minutes about the concept of pronouns. I'm like, okay, uh, that's that's great. You were cis in the main story. That changes sometimes, but okay. <laughs> no, no. Alright, so uh, what was the point of this room, I wonder? I go that way? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> not sure I'd recommend the main thing either, for being real, but... <laughs> it's one of those that's like... It's an experience. Unhelpful jelly, oh no! Yeah, that would be my recommendation. That's a good plan. That is highly valid. Uh, do I feel threatened by this? I don't really. But we'll throw it a scorch. Yeah, I was. I was pretty into it for a while. I really liked uh, Problem Sleuth that came before it. It was like, you know, it hadn't. He hadn't. Or I think Hussy is they now. They then. Uh, they hadn't really found their stride fully yet, but there were a lot of good ideas in Problem Sleuth, I thought. Wait, that was weak last time, wasn't it? That is one I would recommend. It's very silly, it's an acquired taste, but, you know, <laughs> nothing really uh, kind of taints the memory of it either. I have a key! I haven't seen a door that I need a key for, but I have one. Possessed Potion. That's good. Uh... I'm trying to remember, I saw a post the other day that was comparing something to Homestuck. Or no, 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 no. I'm thinking of something entirely different. I was thinking of a... What I actually am thinking of that doesn't have anything to do with what I was talking about. Uh, was... I saw a post comparing uh, Twitter to Tumblr, and I was like, As somebody who uses both, I am somehow offended for both of them. It's like, that's a really mean thing to say about Twitter, but it's also, at the same time, a very mean thing to say about Tumblr for entirely different reasons. <laughs> hey, nice! Been a while since I've tried the directional attack, so... Oh, okay, cool! Yeah, yeah, yeah! It does have the gender feels. <laughs> Especially the femme gender feels. That's a, another thing too is you've got a pretty good variety of like body types and stuff in the character designs for this game. And that's kind of nice. That's something you see all the time. Silver plate helm. That's a lot of defense, but it's gonna hurt the magic. You know who likes defense and doesn't care about magic? Jody. Oh, it hurts the attack. Eh, that's fine. Oh boy. <laughs> More feels between Mel and Claire. Okay. I consider myself warned. <laughs> uh, that first, uh. That first com that conversation early on with Melody and Allison, uh. Already hecked me up pretty bad, so I'll uh, I'll be on the watch out for that. 
Mm. Yes. Yeah. One of the things about this game is... Oh yeah, she's she's absolutely like that, like that uh, kind of cocky style of butch, you know. They're like, we're just gonna do it. And we got this, and you know, we're confident. Maybe we shouldn't be, but uh, something to say. This game, I think, has can kind of trace roots all the way back to a My Little Pony fan game, and I will bet you like any money that Allison was Rainbow Dash at some point. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know much about the original, but that is probably a thing. <laughs> but that is, that's a character type I enjoy, and also like, Melody really reminds me of myself, and Allison really reminds me of my wife, and uh, yeah. <laughs> so that's the ship. It's also kind of fun, uh, you haven't really seen much of the interpersonal relationships, unless you've been here longer than I realized. But, uh, one thing that's kind of fun is I'm low on MP. That's very fun. That's fair, that's fair. Uh... One, another thing that I kind of like about this game is they're already established as a relationship. Like, Melody and Allison are already a thing. A fairly new thing, but already a thing. Uh... Uh... Jody and her girlfriend are a thing. So it's kind of nice, like... It's kind of nice seeing different stages of representation. No, different stages of relationship in one game. You know, I feel like usually... Do it, do it, it's good, it's good, it's good. Uh, you know, I feel like so often it's either like... The old characters are married, and then the young characters are going to have sexual tension and get together, like, at the climax. So it's kind of nice to see him do something different than that. Especially when it's, you know, a ship that reminds you of your own real-life thing. I'm going to heal up. Oh, hey, there's stairs there. Were there stairs there before? I don't think there were. It's good, though. It just came out uh, fairly recently. Like, last week. Week before? 20th. Right. I think we want to be going downstairs, but I guess we're going upstairs. Wait, no, this comes. Yes, the pig lady. I like the pig lady. She's very nice. So I think we've been every direction, so I'm a little confused now. <laughs> yeah, she's a bunny. She runs the restaurant. Oh yeah, I have the, uh, whatchamadiggle. Right? Jody? Are you, uh... Do you want to... Spikes? Jody? Hello? No? Okay. <sighs> I need to get over there somehow, but how? Come around from the other side. How we get to the other side. Uh, there is... There are... I think they're bird non-binaries. I think the, like... There are recurring characters that are... That use they, them, and I think they're birds. I think. Uh... Pretty sure I've seen... Bird ladies that aren't major characters. Oh, you see also... <laughs> That's fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, they're fun. I kind of want to see more of them. They're like traveling bards. They've shown up a couple times. They haven't really done much, but it's one of those, like, they've shown up enough that you feel like you're, they're going to be, uh, big deals at some point, maybe. They also feel like the kind of characters that probably could have been their own game, and maybe they will someday. Huh. Uh, use some meter. How about that? Uh, I already forgot how these guys 
Quick, quick to scorch, probably? Or gold? Seems reasonable. Oh yeah, the Harpy Monks. Alright, good to see you, Bird. Thanks for stopping by. Have good work. Yeah, we do have the Harpy Monks. That's true. They were annoying. I can't believe I forgot them. Thank you! Ba -ba -ba -ba. Defrost? Eh, just punch something. Well, that's reasonable. I do kind of wonder about the predecessor game, though. It seems interesting. Like, by all accounts, it's... I think Bobby herself said it's not really worth looking into, but... I'm still curious. <laughs> you know, you play something you like, you want to see its origins. I haven't done much of anything pony related for a long time, but that used to be a big thing. It was the, uh, <laughs> it was a big egg thing, which is, <laughs> I suspect it was for several people of the trans femme persuasion. kind of have it in the same boat as Homestuck, honestly, and like, some parts of the fandom are really cool, and some parts we, uh, we're just, uh, not gonna talk about. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, Mana Drain. I don't need it, actually. Just, uh, sure. The little guy at the end there. Just a little buddy. Alright, uh. Oh! There's a door here. Ah, okay. Yeah, just a little guy. I was playing uh, Chrono Trigger a few weeks back, and there are little enemies that kind of remind me of that. It's just like a big shield, and if you wait long enough, it like turns around and there's just a little, uh, little shadow guy behind it. You gotta wait for him to come out so you can smack him. Oh, it's the ship! He and who? Uh... Why not? Scorch, I think? One of these days, I want to remember what somebody is weak to for more than two turns. Of course, usually by the time we get to two turns, the fight's already over. In a lot of cases. Oh, I won't do oh wait, no. These guys don't like bubble. Uh... Just why not? Frost? Yeah. That'll do it. I don't know why, why we can't just uh, put a barrier on the spikes. Fighter's headband. That seems helpful. Right, good attack. Or I got that on, so Allison, I think, gets that. Uh, 
Where did we come from? We came from the top. Aha! Does that affect other spikes or just those? Just those. Thought so, but worth checking. Just a shortcut. Oh, hey, that guy. Relax, foolish Harrys. Oh, wait, I forgot we decided to call him Harrys. That cracked me up. I am not here to obliterate you. Not right now, anyway. I am merely taking this opportunity to do a bit of studying while the monsters and traps do their job. I must sharpen my intellect if I'm to outshine my brothers. Father says he loves us all equally, but I'm sure I can persuade him to love me more equally. However, I'm afraid that all of your books are very stupid and bad. Hey now, some of us would kill the study in a place like this. Well, I'm doing it without the killing, and I'd still say it isn't worth it. Would not recommend. Anyway, please do not attempt to provoke me. My brothers and I promised the bear she would be the first to pummel you, and quite frankly, she scares me. Excellent. Alright, just uh. Oh, hi. Hey. I'll change the color palette a little bit, I think. I don't think I noticed that. But, like, until I try to do a save. Well, let's explore a bit before we get too far here. Who are these guys? Nothing new. Uh. There's already a lot of fan art of this game, which I guess makes sense. Like, people have, like, the uh, character designs and stuff have been out for a while. But, it's fun, you know. It's always fun with the new fandom, seeing what people come up with. does kind of tend to draw the uh, weirdos that I've noticed, which I guess is somewhat predictable, but I've seen multiple people get mad over the fact that it has lesbian in the name. It's like, well, why is it got to be in the name? It's like, because everybody is. Not everybody, but you know, a lot of them are. Nice touch. Ah. First aid should still be fine. Let's just take that guy down. Goodness. There we go. Yeah, these... Going, going a little ways back to the Allison discussion, I always enjoyed that kind of archetype, the kind of cocky, ganky, butch, tomboy, straightforward, that kind of archetype. Uh, Allison from this game, Rainbow Dash, Nero from Fate, all those like... We think highly of ourselves, but we also think highly of others. Like, it's kind of cocky and kind of not. Like, confidence without being a jerk, kind of thing. I wonder what that did. Every time I see a switch like this in an RPG, I think of... I think the game was Evo Land? They kind of lampshaded it. Um, it was just like, well, something moved somewhere, but you don't know what. <laughs> enemy. Let's just try to read. Let's leave him alone. Uh, I feel like that guy's gonna heck us up if we don't do something. Nice. Nice. Yeah. There we go. Alright, so far so good. 
Better keep the heals coming. Keep that up, why don't ya? Oh, I think it's just something about like the straightforwardness of characters like that. Stick with the plan here. Guys, I just like a lot of characters, I feel like. You know, I did a, uh, there's a meme going around on tum uh, Twitter. It's like, oh, okay, you know, one like and one fictional character I have a crush on, or a fictional character that's my type. I'm like, I had a lot of trouble narrowing it down. Is there are a lot of characters out there that I find interesting or relatable or attractive for entirely different reasons. Hey, where was I going? I think I was going down. Yeah. Alright, uh, I think that's everything in this area. All sorts of shenanigans here. So it's over this way first. Alright, I'm gonna go this way first. Chest. Guardian Swap Map! Dice! Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. We never, uh. Well, we never did Pepper's thing. That's a bummer. We don't need it anymore, but it's a bummer. Uh. What floor am I even on? Three, I think? I think. I think that is of limited use, but some use, probably. Those guys are wide berth. <laughs> yes. I appreciate that. That's one of those things that's really weird when you think about, but doesn't often get lampshaded, even in games that like to lampshade things. You know? You just find all these weird things in chests and you never really question it. Going the wrong way, but we also haven't been here before. Weird key! Good. Alright, well at least we got those spikes out of the way. I don't think we need to go back, but... What's my pet peeve? Doors that reverse which way you're going. We checked those doors in all those places, so I think we go through the door over here. Or maybe we go down. If only I had some kind of map I could consult. <laughs> I think we're okay though, we want to explore everything anyway. These guys are cute, sort of. Don't know why that's my first reaction, but I'm gonna stick with it. <laughs> I'm one of those types that occasionally finds questionable things cute. Oh, cursed! That's a new one. Weak to scorch, good to know. Corruption, poison and burns. I don't actually have anything for that, I think. That's new. I'm just gonna do a good old fashioned punch. Scorch words. Oh, I haven't actually used this yet. Uh, not gonna either here, I think, but. Allison's getting pretty good! Resist water. That's a bummer. Oh, and it took out the chain. That's also a bummer. But it doesn't matter a whole lot, because that's gonna mess them up. I'm gonna 
have you two guard just because I don't know what first attack does, but guessing attacking isn't a great plan. What other fun things can we find? You can barely see that. Guys think Javis might have gone this way? Nah, this hole looks like it's been here forever. Dust in here hasn't been disturbed in years. I suppose whoever or whatever was held in the cell must have managed to escape. I am not squeezing myself into this creepy crevice, so let's just assume there's nothing interesting this way. By the way, can we talk about the mysterious secret jail beneath our town? Is that setting off any alarm bells for you three? Oh yeah, big time. Greenridge has been around for hundreds of years, and not every guardian has been as upstanding as Faith, to put it mildly. But we've got more pressing matters to deal with this history lesson. This seems like a hook. This seems like... This seems... This is giving a uh, secret... Secret boss vibes. Or sequel... I don't think they're working on a sequel. Apparently, anyway. But... It seems important. Yeah, exactly. Very ominous. I don't trust it. Uh, this way. Right, I'm already turned around again. We're on B3. Let's actually use our map. Right, we're at the bottom there, so we just want to go down. Probably. We have a key. And we have a weird key, which is probably what goes there. Actually, I'm trying to remember, there was a key door somewhere. Uh, what's that in the top left of B1, I wonder? Is it worth going all the way back around to check? I don't think it is. Alright, uh, we should probably heal up and stuff. I'm just gonna take a wild guess there. Got potions for days, that's we got that going for us. Not too many ethers though. Don't love that, but probably gonna need to go pretty hard on whatever this is. Ready for whatever? Yes. Oh, it asked me that and then didn't make me uh, go through the door. Alright, Paula time! Paula and her cool boss music. Why is this one of the best tracks? <laughs> Sorry, I think you wouldn't make it. Paula! Pa, this is your last chance to reconsider. Let us through. I already told you, there's nothing to reconsider. We've all got our parts to play. Boys are in the next room, keeping over keeping little Miss Guardian busy, while Javis summons our boss. And that leaves me to deal with the four posers role-playing as heroes. I've been chosen to be the last line of defense for this new world we're building. Oh, please. See? Told you you wouldn't understand. All I see is an opportunistic lunatic who sold her own hometown out with the first chance she got. I know you've listened to more than enough pop punk to get that everyone's hometown sucks. Yes. I, I like that. <laughs> well, I guess we're in an impasse. We're never going to understand each other through words. Maybe this will get through your thick skull. That's some good art! That is sufficiently cool and uh... No, I'm not gonna think about that too hard. Uh... Seems like a good point for a saber tooth jump, sure.
Nice! Poison on first try. <laughs> she attacked before the taunt went up. That's fun. Weak to Scorch, that's good to know. Uh, how do you feel about Bubble? How do you feel about... No, I think we're gonna try Berserk at Barrage here. Might as well keep uh, Scorching. Get Barrier up. Hmm. Kinda hits like a truck. But she's built like a truck, so that checks out. I wonder if Dive Bomb's stronger than Berserker Barrage. Let's find out. Man, that magic of yours sure is annoying. Let's do something about that. Oh boy. Yeah. Whatever curse is, we uh, have it. Hmm. It's not a good time to not know what that does. What if that applies to spell books? Probably, right? I'm gonna try it and see what happens. I'll just kick her. One of those will go through, right? She does look freaking cool. Uh huh. The axe, the pauldron, or is that what they're called? Pauldrons? The headband, the uh, distractingly thick thighs, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm alright. <laughs> I'm alright with this character design, I think. Uh, she's burned, I can be a fan of limbs. Alright, so I don't know what the curse is actually doing, that all seemed to go fine. Or defense would be good. This seems like it should be going worse than it is. You know? Uh. I haven't done Yoink in a while. Seems like a good place for it. Oh, that's a good skill that I didn't know I had. That's pretty good! I don't have time to cast it right. Well. I don't need it right now, actually. It's not worth wasting a turn on at the specific moment. This is probably just gonna break immediately, but. Yeah. Tier of Arrival. Not bad! I haven't needed many of those, but I assume I will at some point. Okay, so is it just damage after the pack? Okay. I can live with that. <laughs> She's got so many debuffs going on. Uh... I'm gonna guess low kick is what we want here. That's about right. Failed. That's a bummer. Yeah. 
does work well here. Uh, are you still poisoned? I don't think you are. You should be. Please be poisoned. Thanks. Could have done attack boost, I guess, but eh. Just smack her. Ooh, there it is. Okay. There's the damage output. Ooh, okay. Never mind. I'm sorry for uh, doubting you. Yeah, yeah. It took a sec, but... Also, hi, Derps! Welcome back! Welcome back! Uh, da -da 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 -da. Just smack her. Lovely aura. Should be good. Should be good. Might backfire, but should be good. Alright, good. We're okay. Gee! All those debuffs. Alright, uh... That should still be good. That should still be good. You should still be healing. And that should be good. Ooh. That's new and, uh... Fun? See, what will go off first? I think I don't remember if Claire's faster than Jody, so we're gonna play it safe. What? Yeah, melody. I mean, I think I know what I'm doing. I might not, but I think I do. What do I actually feel about Jolt? Recurse. Let's not find out. Hmm. Weakness! Minus one! Oh, that should be fine. Almost got her! She's almost got us too. There we go! Too bad! That was fun! Yes! <laughs> Man, everybody got a level. Nice! Whew. Stand down, Paula. You lost. <sighs> Figures. Only way you could beat me was in a four on one fight, Galetta. Yeah, yeah. That was a rather nasty attack. <laughs> Reduced to 1 HP is always kind of a pain. Pathetic. Besides, if you think this was a win for you, you're dead wrong. My job was to stall you, and I just bought Javis enough time to finish the summoning. No! Guys, come on, maybe we aren't too late. Guys, come on, we have to go save. And heal. Where do I have to be to use a picnic set? Outside battle. Alright. Nice. I've been hoarding those this whole time, and I didn't really need to be. Alright, I'm going to take a quick break. I'll be back in about one minute. No more mental, por favor, gracias. Alright, back. Let's see what else we got. I assume this isn't actually the end of the game, but it could be. It's giving that energy, but we still got one more spot we don't we haven't been to yet. At least she doesn't say anything. Okay. Go Faith, go! Go Faith, go!
glad we get to see Faith in action a little bit. It's ready! Thank you for entertaining our guest, boys! Why don't you get down here and fight me yourself, instead of hiding behind your underlings, you rectangular reprobate! <laughs> get her, Faith. Get him, Faith. Eh, no thank you. What's the point of all this anyway? You're wasting your time with faulty mana conduit. The energy is just gonna dissipate. Ah yes, that would definitely be a problem. Good thing it's just missing its control panel. What? Where'd you get that? I believe that will be clear in a moment. Faith, we're here to... One step further, you will be obliterated. Ah, good. I was hoping we'd have more of an audience for this. Oh, no. Now, let the summoning commence. No! All right, what do we got here? That's an entrance. She's kind of cute. Hello, mortals. Your goddess has returned. Our excuse me? Oh, come on. Don't tell me you forgot to give me a proper introduction, Javis. I spent all these years thinking of the perfect line for when I return. They don't even know who I am. Apologies, my queen. I must have gotten distracted. Should I... Wait, I know. Let's give them a hint. Tree? Girl? Who is this? It's, well, I think I believe it's supposed to be a statue of you, my queen. The beasts had it erected in their village. That's not me. That doesn't look anything like me. Looks a little like you. I suppose I've really let my hair grow out. But that armor, bleh. Did they think I was an elf? Do they still not know what humans are? This, this can't be happening. Enough. You two attacked our town. You deserve to know why. Jody, don't. I'm sorry, where are my manners? My name is Queen Verena, leader of the Verena Empire. But I believe you know me by a different name. Something must have gotten lost in translation over the centuries. I believe the locals have been calling me Fortuna, the goddess of magic. And if I'm not mistaken, that's my magic you're using. Fortuna? The Fortuna? Alright, it's a real RPG now, y'all. We're fighting God, so, uh... Yeah, I didn't see it coming either, honestly. I had kind of forgotten about the gods and stuff. Fortuna? The Fortuna? The one and only. I'm terribly sorry, man. This is just a lot to take in. I bet it is. What exactly are you doing here, Lady Verena? You've been gone for so long, and well... We never expected you to return, like... This? Please, cut the formalities. Grovel all you want, but I know your true colors. I've been to countless worlds and countless universes over the years. Some more memorable than others. But yours is special. No world has managed to piss me off quite as much as Reverie. Wasn't planning on coming back, but the stars have aligned for my return. So who is I to turn down a little payback? I guess I'm just petty like that. Payback? I'm sorry, but we have no idea what you're talking about. Well, first of all, you're squatting in my tower. This tower. The one I built myself. But that's beside the point. Let me put it like this. Your world is broken. It was already pretty broken before, and I only made it worse by giving you Ungrateful Mortals magic a thousand and thirteen years ago. Oops. I was young and foolish. I thought sharing my magic would be a nice gesture. Boy, was I wrong. I probably should have known better. Magic does more harm than good. That's not true. The magic you gave us isn't a burden, it's... Yeah. Tell that to the people who used to live in that irradiated valley to the north of here. Which you all are apparently just fine living next door to. 
Or what about the hordes of invasive monsters all over this island? You think they just evolved naturally? But you, of all people, should realize how much magic sucks, Miss Guardian. Excuse me? Come on. Trying to keep Claire from blowing the whole town straight to hell is a full-time job for you. They really dunk on Claire a lot in this game. Like, I get it, but man, <laughs> girl needs a break. You, you know my name? Of course I do, sweetie. You're the reason I'm here. I guess that's probably going to be a character arc thing, but jeez. <laughs> anyway, long story short, I'm taking my magic back. And what? You heard me. Sharing my magic was the biggest mistake I've ever made, and I'm going to fix it. But don't worry, your magic won't go to waste. Once I've reclaimed all that energy, Janus and I will use it to reset rubbery. Your magic has done far too much damage. You need a clean slate. Your world will be replaced by a better one, designed by yours truly. With me as a creative consultant. And I'll be sticking around this time to make sure things run smoothly. It'll be a beautiful new realm, befitting your guys. I do kind of wonder what that world would look like. Like, it's all glitched out and corrupted and stuff because it's being kind of remodeled. I wonder what it would look like if they actually succeeded. We might find out. I don't know. Okay, we've heard enough. Goddess or no, you're out of your mind if you think we're just going to give up our magic and our world without a fight. Ooh, the kitty's spicy. I like you. Jody. Hey, maybe don't pick a fight with the literal goddess of magic. No, please do. It'll be much more fun if you make things difficult. My queen, if I may? Sorry to interrupt, but we're already behind schedule today. There will be plenty of time to pummel the beasts later, after you settled in. Mm, very well. I've waited this long. I can wait a bit longer. Your patience is unrivaled, my queen. Plus, I do want to at least see what they're capable of before I take my magic back. Alright then, you know what? Let's make this interesting. Davis and I will leave your town for now and relocate to our main base atop the tallest mountain on the island. It's the one north of the valley. Can't miss it. I'll give you time to recuperate, as I'm nothing if not generous. But we're going to administer a little test. Send me your strongest fighters within one week. Let's see if you're all bark and no bite. Did you catch that? I'll, I'll bark, because you're... Anyway. <laughs> Never too busy for a good pun. Anyway, on the off chance you managed to impress me, I may just decide to recruit you into the Vereda Empire. It's so hard to find competent spellcasters these days. And what? Become your personal peons forever? Oh no, we do offer compensation and a pretty comprehensive benefits package. We're not monsters. But if you fail... Javis and I will continue with our original plan to drain your mana and reset your dreadful planet. Those are my terms. They're not up for negotiation. You've got one week. Don't let us down. Alright. Thought we were at least going to get a boss fight there, but... Well, I guess we did get Paula. Short time later. There. My force field should be able to keep them out while we regroup. Green Ridge is now officially under lockdown. Let's head back to my office. You four have got some explaining to do. The Goddess of Magic. We're up against the Goddess of Magic. The phones and internet are still down so we can't contact the outside world for help. How the hell did this happen? Okay, for those in the room who are less religious or less magically inclined, can we have a refresher to make sure we're all on the same page? Thanks, Ex Exposition Tiger. Like, obviously we all vaguely know the basics, but how big of a threat are we dealing with exactly? Probably a big one. She's the goddess of magic. Fonts can probably summarize this more eloquently than I could right now. Very well then. There are many myths about the gods, some easier to reconcile with our modern understanding of science than others. For instance, people used to believe that the gods created the whole universe. But we now know about the Big Bang and all that. 
many people still believe, however, that the gods are immortal beings from some other part of the cosmos who used magic to create Reverie and our solar system. The story goes they created our sun, set the planets in motion, seeded Reverie with life, and made sure we didn't all go extinct. Whether or not this is true is up for debate. Even today, with most of the gods acting as public figures, they don't like to give firm answers about Reverie's ancient past. But we have no historical records of them ever not being here. So whether or not they created Reverie, they've definitely been around for thousands of years and are all super powerful, right? Correct. And for most of that time, they were the only ones on Reverie with any knowledge of how to use magic. Sorcery was considered the domain of the gods. It was what separated them from us mortals. But at the dawn of the arcane era, for reasons we don't quite understand, a member of their pantheon decided to share her gift of magic with us. And then she vanished. Think about how much magic affects your daily life. All our technology, our infrastructure, healthcare, transportation, communication, everything. Yeah, we're just gonna reset the whole dang world. That's all thanks to the goddess of magic. Supposedly, she and our new friend Verena are one and the same. Don't usually interrupt with Melody, but I think that's a good one. Should we believe her? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Any Pozo can just say they're a god, right? I have every reason to believe she is who she says she is. Just as a follower of her teachings, I have so many questions. Where could she have been all these years? If she regrets giving us her magic, why didn't she do something about it sooner? Who the hell is this Javis guy she's with? I'm not sure these are questions we're capable of answering. Look, we have to address the elephant in the room. There better be a joke. No? Okay. <laughs> Claire! What did Verena mean when she said you're the reason she's here? Oh no, I'm not in her head. She's some kind of immortal, all-powerful goddess. I'm 20, 21 and a part-time waitress. Claire, enough. Verena knows your name. She knows who you are. Why? Fine. Oh, I got a, I got a feeling about this conversation. What am I looking at? It's a spellbook I borrowed from the Guardian's collection. It may not look like much, but the more I read it, the more I began to suspect that, well, it belonged to the Goddess of Magic. What? Claire, why wouldn't you tell me about this? Why would you do this? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's not escalate things here. It's not like you were using it. Besides, most of the spells in there are for everyday tasks. I thought you wouldn't care. Lighting candles, healing minor scrapes, that sort of thing. These must have been the first spells uh, Verena taught anyone. It's all kids stuff at this point. I know that can't be all. I may have also... I may have used a ritual in that book to give Melody and Allison their magic. You're kidding me. I'm not... Uh, of course. I should have known something was up. I know you've all been training, but to make so much progress so quickly... Don't you realize how dangerous that was? You could have killed them. Just how much power did you give them? Only a little. Just a little boost to get them started. It's not a big deal. At this point, they're only about as strong as me and Jody. We all made to make a federal case out of it. I think we do. Because whatever you did, it got Farina's attention, and now she's challenging us to the Cell Games, uh, to a fight to determine the fate of the planet. Yeah, tell me something I don't know. I get it, okay? This is all my fault, and I'm a huge screw-up. But at least I'm trying to fix this. Fix this? In what reality have you done anything besides make things worse? You just you just keep pulling these little stunts thinking you're invincible. And all it does is put the people around you in danger. Do the consequences your actions have for others even cross your mind? Do you even care? God, if I had any sense, I'd hold you in the tower to make sure you don't do anything else foolish. I second this idea. No, don't take this all out on Claire. This is my fault. Faith, 
When you let Claire and me start this guild, I swore to you that I would keep her safe. I've clearly failed spectacularly to keep that promise. If anyone's to take the blame here, it should be me. Jody. I think things are getting a little too heated. We've all had a long journey and probably need food and rest. And I've got a lot of options to mull over. It's getting late. Let's, let's all talk about this in the morning. And, well, again, like, the story's being really hard on Claire. Possibly a little harder than she deserves. Maybe, no. Yeah. Get going back there. Speaking of being really hard on people. Oh god, you again? How are you still in my head? I've always been in your head. I'm just a magical manifestation of your innermost- Yeah, yeah. I don't need the whole presentation again. Anyway, way to save the town, Mel. You just let them get away, huh? It's not over yet. We're trying to come up with a plan. We? You sure didn't chime in much during that meeting? Guess you're leaving it in the hands of the real pros. Oh, shut up. I've somehow ended up with the fate of the world in my hands, and I'm trying not to have a panic attack. Is that why you're running away? I just need some fresh air. Last thing I need right now is your nagging. Ha! <laughs> oh, lighten up. You know this is all a charade. If anything, Verena taking your magic away will be a blessing. Look how much trouble it's caused you. You'll get to quit pretending to be someone you're not, and go back to being regular, boring old Melody Amaranth. Allison can quit pretending to be supportive of this little role-playing phase. Absolutely, yeah! <laughs> it's, uh... It's a lot to deal with. She's, uh, you know, clearly not the most experienced, uh, adventurer. What a way to offer back. So I'd like to... I'd like to appreciate that, uh... Even our, like, evil Persona Shadow Alter Ego is still naming and gendering us correctly. <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't expect anything less from a trans woman, but... You know, other games would not have done that, I feel like. She's not pretending to be supportive. Allison really loves me. Both of these things can be true, Melody. You ever notice how many times she's brought up the idea of you quitting? Or how reluctant she is to even call you a paladin? She wouldn't. This is all paranoid nonsense. Just give it a rest. Melody? Mel, there you are. Been looking all over for you. Doing okay? Talk to your significant others. Not really. You want to talk about it? This isn't what I wanted. I had no idea it would be like this. I thought I'd just tag along with you and take care of some minor wounds here and there, but no. If I wasn't here to heal you, you'd probably, probably be. Come on, you're supposed to be the positive one. Tell me everything's going to be okay. Tell me we'll get through this. Melody. Maybe we should quit. What? I'm saying I don't think we should be the ones to challenge Verena. I hate seeing you like this. Oh, this is going to go south. This isn't what I wanted either. Yeah. Same, Sar. Same. This <sighs> is... It's a lot. We just wanted to fight some whole hounds and scrounge around for treasure chests with our friends. We were doing great. You were doing great. But now we've got a reality-bending freak and a literal goddess of magic ready to wipe our town off the map. There's no one else who could even hope to face Javis and Pareto. That's the whole problem. What's our alternative? I don't know. Mel, I know you want this to work out. Believe me, I do too. But if something happens to you out there, I... You got hurt or worse, I can never forgive myself for letting it happen. I can't let you do this. What about everyone else who's counting on us? Can't contact the outside world for help, and Faith and the other paladins have to protect Greenridge in case this is all another trap. 
It has to be us, and I don't want my weakness to screw everyone over. Melody, that's not what I... No, it's not what you said, but it's what this is all about. We wouldn't be having this conversation otherwise. Face it, you've been practically babysitting me this whole time. You've tried being supportive of pity, but even you don't see me as a real paladin. No one does. Mel, you know I won't think any less of you, regardless of how you do as a healer. See? And you won't even call me a paladin. Why is that, Allison? Why do you suddenly care so much about being a pal? This was never something you wanted before. You only got the idea a couple months ago because I wanted to be an adventurer and you wanted to support me. I feel like... I feel like I'm just taking advantage of your kindness and you're afraid to tell me enough's enough. But we're so far beyond what you or I or any of us could ever handle. You don't have to put yourself through all this for me, Mel. What the hell kind of relationship is that? <laughs> it's not what this is about. Then what is it about? I don't know, I just... Oh yeah. Yeah. We got this. <laughs> Allison, I thought you were the one person who would always have my back. Whoa, hey, come here. Look, I'm sorry for raising my voice just now. Why can't you just say that you believe in me? I do, Mel, but I'm not going to encourage you to get yourself killed. This closing... This closing circle is really freaking me out, not gonna lie. It's not what I need to hear right now. No. Just leave me alone. I think I need some space. No, I don't want to leave you in tears like this. Please, Allison. Okay, fine. That's what you need. I'll be back in my place. I'm sorry. Love you, Mel. Oh, I hate to say I told you so, but... What? No comeback? Fine. It's no fun when there's no back and forth. See you later. I'm just... I'm still stuck on this. I don't understand. Claire, why would you feel the need to use Verena's spellbook in secret? Are you kidding me? Faith, you must know how competitive of a field magic is. I didn't have any opportunities like other people did. I didn't even get to start seriously studying magic until I was already an adult. I've just been on my own here. If I wanted any hope of making it as a witch, I had to figure out a way to help myself. Okay, I'm going to take a break for a few seconds here. I need to refresh my drink anyway, and also I need a, need a break after that scene, man. That was, that was rough. Okay, I'll be back in like a minute, I think.
I'm back. I think we're good. <sighs> that was that was a rough one. That didn't hit like as many source points points for me as some of the other scenes that have kind of messed me up. But I it hits me hard when I see relationships going poorly, like miscommunications or other stuff. Like I don't I don't do real great with that. And I also think I just figured out, like just now, <laughs> that kind of having the user interface on top of kind of intense emotions, having the user having like, I'm making hand gestures like I have hand tracking, but like having the game itself kind of reflect your mental state, I seem to be like easily messed up with that. Like, what I'm thinking of is uh, Doki Doki Literature Club. That game hits very hard. The you, you boot it up and it gives you like a page of trigger warnings and they all fit. Uh, what got me... Yeah. Yeah. Like, I am glad this is impactful, but man, man alive. It sure isn't afraid to hit me with that. A lot of my favorite games are like that, though. Like, it's like... If it's time to... If it's time to chew me up, chew me up, I guess. But man, it uh, takes a lot out of you. Like, what got me with uh, Doki Doki Literature Club, the point at which I dropped it, isn't like the one famous plot twist that like throws a lot of people who expect a cute game. I got through that okay. It hit a little hard. I got through that okay. After that, the point at which I dropped Doki Doki was... There was a conversation after that where two characters were arguing and the interface just kept getting weirder and weirder. Like, the dialogue started a little bit advancing, it started speeding up, the music started speeding up, it started, like, zooming in on the selection buttons. That freaked me the heck out a lot more than the, like, actually darker stuff that came before it. So, like, I think I would have been okay on that last scene, probably, if it hadn't been for, like, tightening circle. That, that... That got to me a little bit. Hey, <sighs> but we're good now, sort of. <laughs> the world is still being uh, reformatted, but uh, at least we're not having relationship drama. <sighs> but although I feel like this is going to hit pretty hard, too. Like, I've just been on my own here. If I wanted any hope of making it as a witch, I had to figure out a way to help myself. Wrong window. I get where you're coming from, Claire, but you didn't have to do this alone. I thought that maybe the guild would be a positive influence on you, but you're still making these rash decisions on your own when it comes to magic. Why do you assume that I wouldn't have helped you? Because no one ever does. Claire, I don't know what exactly your life was like back in Brightport. We're, we're gonna go straight into drama, I think. Because <laughs> we didn't have enough of that. Things are different here. You have people who care about you. <laughs> the support network. Yeah, and I'm an embarrassment to all of you. That's not... Don't act like I don't know how everyone talks about me when I'm not in the room. I'll admit, I'm not happy about the mess we're in. But I'm disappointed in you, because I know you're capable of so much better. Maybe I haven't been the best friend, but I would hope you still consider me one. You can't keep up this vicious cycle, though. I want to help you, but you have to need to admit that you need help. You're right. I'm sorry. I need your help, Faith. Thank you, Claire. All the pneumatic tubes, I forgot about those. <laughs> Perfect timing. Who's that from? This is a response from the one person who may be able to help us. Her name is Zinnia. She's my personal mentor and also a good friend. Oh, Zinnia! I've heard so much about her. We finally get to meet her, huh? Wish it was under happier circumstances, but yes. Don't normally like to bother her with problems around town. This is no ordinary disturbance. We need to bring in the big guns. 
goody one might be able to face Verena. I believe it's her. Claire, I'm giving you another chance to help out here. I want you four to go talk to Zinnia for me. Pardon me. Her home is in the mountains east of the Amber Woods, behind a magically sealed gate. Oh, good, good. I am also looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to all of it, really, but new characters are... Have so far, so far all of the characters have been really fun, so the more the barrier. We need this key to get in. She'll be expecting you. We're also free to investigate the valley, since Verena said her base is in that direction. You can get there by heading north from the Amber Woods. Adventurers like to hang around there, so you may be able to find some help there. Or at least better here. I'll leave that decision up to you. Jody, one more thing before you go, dear. Sure, Faith, what is it? I'm sorry that I'm asking you to leave again so soon after getting back. I wish we didn't have to be apart at a time like this. Oh, it's okay. I understand. Your duty to Green Ridge comes first. Besides, I gotta take responsibility for this mess I helped us get into. I owe that much to you, at least. Well, anyway, I wanted you to have this. Hmm. Oh, it's beautiful, Faith. It's more than just a keepsake. I've been working on a way to keep in touch while the phones are out. If you hold this and channel just a little mana into it, it'll temporarily summon me to your location. Anytime, anywhere. Wow, but what if you're, like, busy? I have to accept the summon first, so don't worry about catching me while I'm in the shower or anything like that. I feel terrible that I can't be in two places at once. This should be a happy compromise. Perfect. I'll be sure to keep in touch. Oh, They have a hug sprite. That's important. Bye for now, sweetheart. Okay, are we ready to go? Guess so. So, sorry about the uh, scene in there. Let's forget about all that and just focus on helping Faith. Sure thing. I think even happened when I'm getting choked up. Well, Melody, you take the lead. Something wrong? I... I think I need some space for a little bit. That's okay. Did something happen? Wait, you two didn't have a fight, did you? Can't just ask that, Claire. <laughs> I don't really want to get into it. Don't worry about me. Besides, we got a job to do. Let's just try to stay positive. I'm just gotta hang behind for now. Jody, you should take the lead. Oh, well, sure. If you think you'll be more comfortable that way. Well, I guess it's time to head out then. Alright, well. Jody, on point. <laughs> Line still hasn't changed. First impression, eh? Just, uh, just, just rolls with it. It's all good. <laughs> Dead get pit tunnel. We can go to the whole thing. Nope. Oh, that's a good point too. Uh, that is rough. Got everything actually. Yeah. I would have missed that thing for pointing that up. That ain't great. That ain't great.
And... Hey, let's have something freaking happy! Hey Beverly, how are you holding up? I'm managing, I suppose. Things have been busy around here, so I haven't really had time to dwell on. Besides, bad guys are gone, so that means everything's better now, right? Eh, uh, not quite. Oh. Sorry, but it's probably for the best if we don't get into the specifics. We're working with Faith to try and make things right, though. Beverly, is there anything I can do to help? Oh well, you could... Actually, no, forget about it. My problems aren't important when so much is at stake. Nothing could be further from the truth, Beverly. Say the word, and I'll be there. Well, if you really think it's okay, then Sean and I could use an extra pair of hands around here. I know you've got your adventure stuff now, Claire, but whenever you've got the time, even a couple hours of waiting tables would be a lifesaver. Sounds like a mini game. Guess I have been flaking up on you a lot lately, huh? Well, okay, Beverly, I'll come help out as soon as I can. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Whatever this is, I'm sure it will be perhaps a break. Soup the day. Butternut squash, let's go. I like all scoops, I'm honestly. I'm a big soup fan. There are peanuts on the hot fudge sundae? Okay, good. <laughs> ah, this is gonna be a mood, isn't it? I used to do food service. It was exactly as fun as it sounds like. This is indeed going to be a whole mood. <laughs> Just have a water. <laughs> exactly. Upselling. Oh boy. Yeah, and he tipped me fine. That first one was always really tempting. It's like, I'm sorry, but I don't actually set the uh, the prices for this entire national chain. <laughs> You can yell me out all you want, but that does not change the fact that they decided that you should pay 30 cents for that tomato. Oh boy. Oh boy. Hmm. 
so sorry about all that. That's fine. It's part of the job. I'm just thankful for the save. I almost frosted that guy. Would have done worse if I knew as much magic as you. I get why you want to quit, though. I love my job, but it's not always laughs and smiles, no matter how hard I try to be a positive influence. No, no, no. I don't hate working at Pickledee's. I mean, I get to be around you. I like that. Oh. Yeah, yeah. That hits several of my buttons. It's like the manager standing up for her employee and, like, not quite girlfriend standing up for not quite girlfriend. That, that hits several. And, and the uh, normally happy, bubbly person uh, running out of happy, happy and bubbly. That hits several of my little uh, buttons at once. It was nice. I like it. And now we're having a moment. I guess after what happened, I'm just happy we have a restaurant to go back to at all, even on a bad day like this. Talk to your not quite significant others? We're on the side of talking about things I feel like a lot of the time. In life, I don't know about games. <laughs> Beverly, I, I need to come clean about something. What? The attack on Green Ridge the other day. That was my fault. I'm the one who got the attention of those bad guys. I'm the reason you almost lost everything. I feel. I feel like it's not as much her fault as everybody, including she herself, is making it. Like, oh. Nope. I feel like it doesn't quite add up that Farina did all this just because Claire did a spell. I don't know. Either direction would be an interesting direction for the story to go in. It's like either it's like, yeah, we're the good guys, but we screwed it the heck up and now we gotta fix it. That's an interesting way. That's an interesting direction for the story to go. But the more traditional route would be like, oh, this wasn't actually your fault, and everybody's giving you a hard time for it. I'm, inter I'm interested to see where this character arc goes, because it's going somewhere, for sure. You don't have to forgive me. I don't expect that of you. I know you'd probably be better off without me around, causing you so much trouble. Claire, I don't really know what's good been going on with you lately. I wish you'd tell me, but I get that it'd probably go over my head. But whatever happened, I know it's not your fault. You would never do that on purpose. I'm fine, really. Yeah, exactly. Or even like, even maybe like, she planned revenge and that was the start of it somehow. It's kind of, it's kind of the gut feeling I have, but we'll, we'll see. Play on and find out, I guess. <laughs> fine, really. Whatever those guys were after, they're responsible for their own actions, and you're responsible for yours. Besides, town and patients excluded, I kinda like that you caused trouble. Huh? Why? Makes things more interesting around here. I love how passionate you are about magic and monsters and all that. You're honestly one of the coolest people I've ever known. You know, when I was a kid, Bickledees was my favorite place in the world because of people like you. I'd hang around while my parents worked and I'd get to meet all these adventurers who were passing through town. People with dreams and so many interesting stories to tell. Those are some of my happiest memories. But those dreams of yours are why I know you have to leave. Bickledees is my whole life. When they get sick, uh, Sean and I promised our parents that we'd keep the family business going. But that's not your problem. Even if we won't see each other as much, I would never stop you from becoming a full-time witch. I don't want to hold your back. I just want to hear all your cool stories from time to time when you're back in town. It doesn't have to be that way, Beverly. There's something else I've been meaning to tell you lately, actually. Exactly. This whole thing's over the statue. <laughs> oh? 
I, I like you. A lot. That's more than a friend. It's cool if you don't feel the same way. I just, uh, would put that out there. To make sure you knew. I guess what I mean is, my life is changing, but I still want you to be a part of it. I know we're both busy with work, but maybe sometime when you have a night free, we could go out? Like, on a date? Oh yes, a thousand times yes, Claire. I thought you'd never ask. What? I've literally had a thing for you for ages. Come on, I'm terrible at hiding at it. I get flirty all the time. You do? I thought you were like that with everyone. No, silly. I really like you in particular. I just thought you you weren't interested. Since I am so, you know, boring. This game woke up and chose violence today, man. It's just chewing me up. <sighs> no way! Beverly, you're not boring. You're the nicest, sweetest person I've ever known. These last few years of my life have been so much better with you in it. Oh, come here, you. So I guess it's a date? It's a date. Oh yeah, that's true! <laughs> we triggered that by doing the silly food service minigame. <laughs> that's true, I didn't even think of that. <sighs> I'm glad we did it then. Jeez. Gee, Claire, you seem awfully chipper for someone who just got done with free food service. <laughs> Wait, did you? You didn't! I may have. My god, finally! Thought you nerds would never break the ice. Holy crap, congrats, Claire. Yeah, well, uh, but turns out the potential end of the world is one way to light a fire under me. So things are heating up already, huh? Getting real hot and heavy with you and Beverly? Really? No, 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 stop, stop. Let's just get back to the mission. <laughs> good, that's good. Aura 5? Hello? Good. <laughs> I'm glad. Awesome! Good, 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 good. Yeah. Oh, she gets a little blush, too. That's real cute. That's real cute. So another thing I kind of like about this game is you've got, like, relationships outside the party. I feel like that's not something you see a whole lot. Like, I feel... Like, a lot of the time, they just either pair off all the player characters and then, you know. But we've got two people who are dating uh, NPCs. I think that's fun. All right, good deal. Uh, do we need to rest up? No, we don't. We could save, though. Or shop. Double picnic sucks wouldn't hurt. Not that many. <laughs> That's true. That's true. <laughs> Two separate things. <laughs> All right. Well, anything new here? Apparently, golden gauntlet seems good. Alright, that all seems good. Uh try two of those. Two of those. Four of those? And we can't afford the hats. Do we actually need this? Oh, it is actually better. We finally, uh, finally upgraded the breastplate. 
All right, Jody's in the front right now. <laughs> I do like tropical shirts, though. Not gonna lie. At least we have our caster in the back. That's uh, one way of looking at it, I guess. It's a little weird having like our main healer lead the party. I'm gonna choose to focus on that instead of being sad. Uh, I better go ahead and sell off some of the stuff, right? Uh, this what I keep actually. By Mega Ryan reference. By two hander. I'm gonna keep that. I still have a paladin. Yeah, paladin, but healing focused paladin. You know. <laughs> yeah, I do like it. I do like it. to that just in case. Some of the stuff I've had for a while. I think we could probably upgrade these too, right? Uh, not all of it. Wouldn't actually help uh, Jody and Allison that much. Pretty sure I want those at least. Hey, right, I don't think we need anything from you, but we'll see. That's right, shop local. Yes. <laughs> I love these kids. <laughs> yes, give the horse ghost lots of horse stickers. Ethers, but I got some mega ethers I haven't really dipped into. We're probably fine. Get, go get there. Please. Thanks. <laughs> I don't think we need to go to the basement dungeon. <laughs> Nobody even died. <laughs> That's true. Okay, so we're gonna have to do both of those anyway. I don't think we got a tarot for Judy. We should do that. Surely you aren't worried about your future, are you? Or perhaps that read of you is wrong. You ain't can't hurt to check, right? We did already pay. For your past, the devil. What exactly is this implying about me? It is not implying that you're a devil, but I don't know you well enough to know whether or not that would be true, I suppose. This card tends to represent burdens that you carry with you, ones that you feel forced you onto your current path. Cards even tell me one of those proverbial albatrosses around your neck may be present as we speak. Hey! I pointed no fingers, she said it, not me. This is my reading, not Claire's. Leave her out of this. Sorry, you're right. Dual readings do cost extra, after all. For your present, justice. 
This one could be reassuring after that first card. Serves as a reminder that we are all destined to be judged for our decisions, but also that those decisions and that judgment aren't set in stone. You have to accept the actions that have come to pass, and recognize how the justice served may help secure a better future. See, for instance, you must accept that you put off consulting your local fortune teller about these burdens of yours for so long. I am judging you greatly for this, <laughs> but I do so knowing that it will help you secure a better for future. And finally, for your future, temperance. This card ma emphasizes maintaining clear vision and inner peace, even in times of great chaos. Easier said than done. I know, I would certainly say that we've been living in times of great chaos lately. I could say some stuff about adapting to changes and balance and whatnot, but perhaps you should just try taking up yoga. Pardon me. I already do some yoga, actually. Perhaps you should try taking up more yoga. I don't know. I'm a fortune teller, not a life coach. The cards have spoken. <laughs> I do feel like... I do feel like Jody is kind of noticeably less fleshed out than the rest of the gang. Like, Claire and... Claire and Melody have, like, big character arc development things going. Allison, maybe a little less so, but she's kind of got her thing going with Melody. Jody, I feel like it's just there. Like, nothing, like, specifically bad happens to her. She hasn't shown us any real character flaws. Is that an oversight, or is that going to come crashing down at some point, you know? Uh, that's the woods. I don't want to go there yet. There's not much else to do yet, I guess. Ruby Eye. Ruby Eye. Do I have that? It doesn't ring a bell. Or, uh, I think there was a spot. Go. Okay, uh, let's go. Let's check the construction site just to see if anything. Anything to say about Bottle X? There were those, uh, lilies that we never got across. I don't think I have that. It doesn't ring a bell. Oh, well, this is this spot. I'm thinking of somewhere else. Probably the woods. Alright, that was pointless. Onward. This is what I was thinking of. Some very deliberately placed, but nothing we can do with them. Alright, fair enough. We're also still looking for Pepper's thing in the woods. Not that we really need that quest based on the rewards, but put a side quest in front of me, I'll at least try to do it. Woods. Oh yeah, this is a um, nice place. Busters are still there. Yeah. There are a few monsters here. Not a lot. Oh hey, Bill. Hey. 
Oh yeah, that's what this was. Alright, we have pondered the orb. Nothing has come of it. What else we got? We'll just have monsters chilling. No, ain't nothing. Safe spot over there. It was the same place. Can I go, please? It's a suspicious stump, too. Uh, hmm. Uh, not recently, no. Wait, no, that wasn't even connected to the woods, it was different mounts. Oh yeah, uh, I met the ranger guy at some point. Last stream. Kiss faith, yay. Well, everybody has a kiss now, don't they? Nice. Alright, uh, just throwing off my muscle memory having <laughs> the party reorganized, among other issues. But these are guys from a while ago, they should be fine. A lot of levels today. Uh, it takes us back to the Soleil Shrine. This is where we came from. This is where we came from before that. Uh, we're going there anyway. Navigation. Hey, a sign. All right. Uncanny Valley. That seems like a good place to go. Yeah, we should check in here probably. <laughs> Whew. Dodge that. Not that the monsters here will be any problem at this point, but you know, kind of a kind of a pain if you gotta fight them. Oh, it was a ranger. It was probably not a guy. I don't remember. Possibly rob them up so much. All right, that was not worth taking the long way around. snake. Oh yeah! With the uh, funky ass necklace. Alright. This away probably. Hmm. This looks like mini boss! It's not not at all. Something like that. We got the meter, might as well use it. Come on now. I 
elixir, nice. Uh, let's follow the path first. Ooh. Monsters ahead. Music immediately cuts off, that's a good sign, right? Ooh. Picnic set, nice. Could always use more of those. <laughs> Contact juggling balls. Contact juggling is fun. I mean, I'd say that like I do it, it's fun to watch. <laughs> Good. Another save point. It's interesting to me that the save points are sometimes different colors. I'm not gonna get through without fighting this. I don't think we fought any of those like poison. Like one of the one of the sidekick guys was talking about poison versions of enemies. I don't think we uh found too many of those. Maybe he meant, like, the rest of the world in general. Right. Jody's in front now. Pardon me. Yee! Why am I using fire spells on the... Fire enemy. I just saw Pinecone and kind of autopiloted. <laughs> Gotta pay more attention than that. Uh, still don't really understand how the poison frog ball guy works. Let's try that. That should work better. Uh, no. No. They all showed up during the last uh, dungeon run. They were like, I don't feel like fighting you right now. I was like, oh, okay. I was, I was surprised. I was expecting a few uh, boss fights out of that sequence, but we only got the one with Paula. And we haven't seen any of them since. They do seem fun, though. There we go. How? Righteous Blow! Okay. Got something going on over here, but I don't know what. Let's do a little sneaky. Ancient key. That seems. Seems interesting for the future. Wonder. Is this where we were? No. I wonder if I should go back to the uh, tower and look at that crack in the wall again. Such that just screams like optional content. Oh, hey, we can astral plane. Nice. Uh, I don't 
think we want to warp anywhere right now, but it's nice to have the option. Remember what all these are. Alright, let's focus. Ruby Key. Oh. Oh, Zinnia's Key. Okay. So I guess we're doing Zinnia. I was just kind of wandering around at random, but here we are. <laughs> you wander around at random long enough and you'll uh, eventually get to somewhere you're going, especially if there are multiple places you're going. Polychrome! <laughs> He's just a little guy! A little very flammable looking guy. But maybe I am the flammable one. We're all flammable in our own special ways. Oh, that's new, I think. Just sell it, okay. Alright. Promising looking rope, but over here there's treasure. Mega potion! That's nice. I don't know if it'll work, but try it. Yeah. Throw me off that he gets two turns. Okay. Electricity is not the way to go on those guys, if anybody was wondering. Scorch. And how about bubble? He's just got all the attacks, doesn't he? Alright, weak to water. Got it. We need a uh, fuel. This should do it. Oh, wait, nope. Uh, I forgot I don't have meter. Do it anyway. Hey, uh. I should just be able to go for it. Just to be safe, though. Ooh! Petrified status, that's a new one. But we don't know what it does. Seems like it'll be complicated. Uh, we came from down. Can't go this way. It looks like we should be able to, but this is actually our only option. Never mind. I'll take a save, sure. A lot of treasure around here. None of that is really rocking my world or anything, but it's always nice.
That's where we came from. Might not have much attention span, but I do have some. Sometimes. On rare occasions. Molkar! He's, he's a buddy! It's a buddy that can hit for 400 damage. <laughs> but he can't take a hit, so that's good, I guess. Yeesh! Something down here, I bet. Yep. Miner's helmet! Ooh. None of us can wear this helmet. Why not? <laughs> I'm gonna refund this game. Can everybody wear it? I don't think I care. It's going to, uh... It's going to Jetty. Put it on the tank. Uh... Maybe it's good. Could put this on. No. I'm gonna keep her doing, uh... Healer. Or magic. What else we got? Uh... More damage when she has more star power. Nice. Oh, it costs MP for it. Well, that makes sense, because you gotta channel summon her. <laughs> That's really cute. Also appreciate that they gave you a uh, justification for it. <laughs> Hmm, that's not good. Probably. Theoretically, at least. <laughs> Can't imagine it's good. Uh, how about that? Oh, wait, that... Electric doesn't do much to those guys. How about that? How about it? Uh... I think that's preventative, not restorative, but... Mm. These guys are tougher than they look, huh? This will keep running into status effects that I don't have any uh, way to counter. I don't even have items that help with stone. Oh, wears off. Okay, that's nice. Ah, just hit her. I'm not thick enough. Looking for a lovely R. Better hit this guy before he does too much to me here. Uh, should be enough, right? No! Huh! You'd think hitting him in his exposed head would be good. And we already have enough of those. Alright, uh, I'm already turned around. I guess this way. Hmm. 
can hope it. I get a treasure. Starfruit. I don't think we've ever actually used one of those. We've had one for a while. Yeah, this seems actually worth taunting on. Uh, uh, sure. This journey was a little bit faster. Be helpful. I think we'll probably get through uh, whatever this dungeon is, and probably call it after that. We'll see how it goes, but seems like a reasonable place to cut it, and about the right time that I wanted to cut it. We'll see. Xenia has been hyped to me, so I want to see what that is. But first, we have to navigate. Mimic! Oh, I don't think we've seen this Mimic! It's so happy to be here. Last beat. Ooh. Let's try that. Mimics are always tough. No matter what the game, I feel like. They're always kind of a kind of a challenge. A little bit uh Yeah Heck her up, Allison. Heck her up. I'll take that. Uh, how do you feel about Joe? Actually, no. Let's go all in and do Mystery Beam. And Dive Bomb. And more Scorch. And don't want else and die. There we go. And there we go. That didn't do much damage, did it? And I guess I do have my tank trying to be <laughs> offensive spellcaster, but still. Gotta diversify. <sighs> Inferno! That sounds like it'll be fun. Lucky coin. Doubles gold. That ain't bad. I don't think I want to use a slot on it, but it ain't bad. Pardon me. I think we went this way, right? No? Yes? Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. Ah, here we go. Probably. Oh, there we go. This must be the place. Do you know anything about Xenia, Jody? Not much. Faith's brought up having a mentor named Xenia a few times, but we've never met. And I don't think she uses social media. Faith's a good judge of character, though. Any friend of hers is a friend of mine. I keep forgetting they have modern technology. Like, the, they keep being like, oh, social media, or oh, my phone, or whatever. But I'm so... I'm not, I don't engage in very media, many media where magic and tech, like modern day tech, exist side by side. And also, most of the tech has not been working for most of the game, so whatever. <laughs> then it just kind of throws me a little bit when they're like, oh, you know, she doesn't post much on social media. She does the shave and a haircut. Not like a dork. Oh, hello! Hello! Yellow? Hi, is Zinnia home? You're speaking to her. I like her already. 
Well, where are my banners? You must be Faith's friend. Hold, hold on just a sec. Oh, she's cute. She's real cute. There we go. Sorry for startling you like that. I was just stretching. I get all stiff if I don't morph back to full size every now and then. I also forget sometimes that most folks don't run into dragons every day. Uh, yeah, you could say that. Well, come in, come in. It's chilly out here. I'll make us some tea to warm up. Oh, yeah, that's true, doesn't it? We just uh, plundered all our stuff. And we get an astral plane spot. Nice. Let's check and see what it looks like on the other side. This is different. Oh, no, it's not. Just haven't been in this part before. Alright. A few locations we haven't been. Stands to reason. Oh, it's a nice quilt. Yeah. Yes. It's a cute pillow, too. Understandable. I would be tempted to. <laughs> it's a nice house. Oh, fine. I love gawking at people's stuff. <laughs> okay, fine. Nice to meet you, Zinnia. My name's Jody, and this is... Well, there's no need for introductions. Faith's told me all about you for you four over the years. Especially you, Jody. I hope you realize how crazy she is about you. T anyone? I love her. I know that you're here on a mission, but we don't need to rush. I don't get to meet new people often these days. So you're Faith's mentor? That I am. I've tutored many a guardian over the years, and Faith's the latest. I don't come across bright young spellcasters like her often, though. She's really something special. Wait, we don't get a new guardian all that often. How old are you exactly? I'll send us route to, oh, about a thousand, give or take. Dragons live a long time. Wow, you don't look like a day over 800. Ha, I like this one. You must be Allison. That would make you Melody. Huh? Oh, yeah, that's me. I hear you started training as a healer recently. Hmm. You're on a team with your girlfriend, no less. How's that going? You just twist the knife, why don't you? It's, uh, it's going. I see. And you must be Claire. Yeah, I bet Faith's told you all about me. He has. Tells me that you're very passionate about your magic studies and that you're always trying to challenge yourself. You remind me of someone I knew a long time ago, actually. She was a great witch herself. Anyway, we can get down to business in a moment. That sounds like war. For now, make yourselves at home. Look at her stuff. <laughs> It's like the most fun part about going over to somebody's places is like seeing what books they have and all that. <laughs> e library. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got so many DVDs that I don't really use much anymore. Which is kind of sad. <laughs> what else we got? Ah. Huh. Oh, 
that's nice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what we're doing here, but I'm sure it's going to be interesting. <laughs> oh, I can skip text. Good to know. Magnets don't smell anything on the fridge, though. That's, uh, that's a demerit. <laughs> Now can we go in the back? Magic degrees. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I like her. I like her a lot already. Now then, let's get down to it. Faith told me there's a situation you need help with, but she didn't give me any specifics. She just said my knowledge of ancient magic would help. Right, it's a, well, it's a pretty extraordinary situation. I imagine Faith doesn't need me to get involved often. Don't worry about me, though. I'm still spry by dragon standards. I've hardly aged a day since I hit 30. Man. Ooh. Probably. Man, where do you even begin? Okay, I'll just rip the bandage off. We're here to ask if you can fight the goddess of magic. Sorry I must have misheard you. One more time? We've been challenged to a fight by the goddess of magic. You probably know her as Fortuna, but her name is really Verena. This can't be. I know. We're sorry. It's a lot to ask of someone. No, no, no. I don't think you understand. I I knew Verena. Oh, there you go. What? <laughs> that I laughed, but that is not off the table. Describe her. Ah, uh, well, she had long purple hair that kind of sparkles, and it is her. God, I wish Faith had been more specific in her letter. Guess she had no way of knowing the details, though. That's a part of my past I've tried my best to bury. I just don't understand. Verena's back? After all this time? Now? She's threatening Greenridge? I see. So she wants her magic back. Do you have any idea why she might feel that way? I do. Look, this won't be easy for me, but I have some things to explain. Oh boy. This is not going to be happy music. Okay. A little over a thousand years ago, long before Greenridge was founded, I lived here on the Sapphire Islands. There weren't many people here at the time, and I enjoyed the peace and quiet. I had a humble life, living off the land. Yet one day, out of nowhere, Verena appeared. I was very shy back then in general, but I was especially shocked by Verena. I had never seen a human before, for one thing. But even though she had never met a dragon before, she didn't look at me like I was a monster. And more importantly, she could do magic. You mean, you couldn't? Even as a dragon? No! We dragons may be special, but we're still technically mortal. And sorcery was the art of the gods back then. I could naturally shapeshift and breathe fire, like any dragon can. But I couldn't cast spells. Oh boy. Verena said she'd been to many worlds and seen many types of magic. She was surprised as you are that I couldn't do any. Reverie was a world full of magic, she said. Every plant, every animal, everything down to the smallest pebble. I asked her if she could teach me a spell or two. She thought it could be dangerous. She needed a place to stay, so she stayed here with me. And they were roommates. I kept asking if she'd teach me magic. Eventually I wore her down. She realized, though, that I didn't have enough mana to cast spells. So to help me, she performed a little ritual to boost my mana levels. 
I'm pretty sure that made me the first mortal spellcaster in the history of Reverie. I was far from the last, though. Word got out that Verena was able to teach mortals how to cast spells, and it didn't take long for people to start lining up asking for lessons. Everything felt like it moved so quickly over the next few years. Verena built a tower to call her home. Then, we built a small magic school to the north and started taking on students. I picked up on Verena's lessons pretty quickly, so I helped her out with the teaching. A school for magic? But before long, a rumor started spreading. People started calling her the goddess of magic. So wait, is Verena a goddess or not? There's a reason people call her that. Whether or not she's one of the original gods of Reverie, she's as powerful as one. She's not to be taken lightly. There's something I don't understand, though. Sounds like Verena was getting along so well in Reverie. So what happened? Well, what a tell the dang story, jeez. Why is she looking for revenge and trying to take away her magic? Verena didn't leave by choice. There was an incident. I'm sorry. I wish I could tell you more, but it's a particularly painful memory for me. One I've spent the better part of a thousand years repressing. Hang on. I don't know what's happened to her in the centuries since then, and I have no idea who this Javis character she's traveling with is. But that incident a thousand years ago is definitely why she's so bitter about rubbery. And it's also why I can't face her. Everything that happened, it was all my fault. Breakup theory is, uh, going strong a little bit, at least as part of it. Meeting Verena was one of the best things that ever happened to me, but to her, meeting me and giving me magic only caused her pain. I could try, but I'm sure it would only make things worse. She has every right to be mad at me after the hell she's been through. And even if that wasn't the case, Verena was... She was a dear friend of mine. Oh, that pause. Yeah. I could never fight her. I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. I know you came here looking for my help with this, but this is a battle I can't fight for you. Yeah, we do be getting the backstories. I can't apologize enough for being unable to help with Verena, but, well, Faith also told me in her letter that you four needed guidance. And I've never been one to turn down a pupil in need. I can see what, for myself what she meant by that. You seem lost. So, I'd like to propose a little special training. It's the least I can do after you all came out all the way out here. Sorry, but I don't know if all the training in the world could help us face Verena. I know. But, whatever your roles are in all this, I don't think you're ready just yet. Physically or mentally. And, well, in times when I feel powerless, I try to focus on the things I can do instead of what I can. That is good advice right there. That is good advice right there. Like, that... That gave me a lot of, uh... That helped a lot getting through the last few years of very dense sundry global scale shenanigans. That's a that's a good wisdom right there. All right, what I can do is teach. I mean, sure, I guess. Not like we've got any better ideas, right? Sure, fine. I'm in, I suppose. Excellent. That's a little warm up. I'm running low on the special dragon berries I use to make my dragon berry tea. Yeah, yeah, fair. <laughs> you four can help me gather put some in the mountains while I make some preparations back here. Let's try to turn this visit into a productive one, in spite of everything else. I'll meet you in my backyard whenever you're ready to head out. I like her little outfit. She's just like a little, uh... She's just like a little magical dragon grandma. It's nice. Still can't see this room. Alright, y'all. I think that is probably a good place to cut it. Uh, it's actually safe, though. I don't know. We made 
it's some good prog. We uh we met some new people. I nearly cried three different times, I think. Uh let me go over to the chatting screen. Yeah. I am still really grieving this game grooving on this game. It's uh it's a lot of buttons for me, and uh it's uh quite relatable. It's relatable from like various angles, like there's so many different characters. Yeah, yeah, probably. <laughs> I don't doubt it. It's uh it's kicked my butt several times so far. I'm sure it's got a few more uh a few more before before we are done. Oh boy, okay. I'll work out for it. I mean we are kinda naturally heading towards the emotional story beats, right? Like we've got a we got a like Claire's arc is coming to a head, I think. We've got uh Trouble in Paradise with Melody and Allison. I still feel like something's gonna happen with Jody because I feel like she's the only one that doesn't have a whole lot of like baggage she needs to deal with. So I feel like maybe we're gonna like speed run her stuff or something. I don't know. We may or may not find out what's going on with Verena and uh, all that. Yeah, yeah. A lot of stuff building. Like, <laughs> we've had some really emotional stuff, and you could tell the heavy stuff is coming in a bit. And uh, that's uh, that's kind of terrifying. Not gonna lie. At any rate, uh, let's see who is on. Oh, Gray's on. They're fun. I'll send us over to Gray. Uh, I don't have a schedule posted yet. It'll be posted soon. Um, I think the plan is more Robbie Ribby on Monday. Then maybe we'll try to finish this up on Saturday afternoon. I think is the thought. I'll post it on Twitter. I'm going to try to remember to actually put a... Uh, Use the schedule function on. Wait, no, I can't do that from here. I have to do it from Stream Manager. I need that. Um, I'm gonna try to actually start using the schedule function on Twitch. Um, bah, 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 bah. Try to talk and think at the same time. Not working well. I'm not good at either of those things. There I go. All right, that can start while I'm talking. Um, yeah, I'd also like to see more about Allison's mom. We didn't see Allison's mom or really talk about her this whole time, but it seems like an interesting dynamic, and I enjoyed her when she was here. I, I imagine we're going to see more of her, but I'm looking forward to that when we do. Oh, there's... I feel like we're coming up on, like... I feel like we're pretty close to the end, but I feel like we've got a lot to do before we actually end this game. At any rate, thank you all for coming. Thank you all for chatting. It was good to see both of you back again. Uh, raid message is, oh, raid message is not type raid. Uh, there we go. All right. Thanks for coming. I hope to see some of y'all next week and, uh, have a good, have a good evening. Be nice to Gray and take it, Adagio.